<gasps> Who's that? This is Guilty Gear Strive when Street Fighter 6 comes out. Alright, so we're back to remake. Honestly, I just want an excuse to play Resident Evil 1 again. Because <laughs> I love Resident Evil 1 so much. I, I, I was so desperate to play Resident Evil 1 again, guys. We played, we played the cancelled Game Boy Color game and I put you guys through hell for two days of soft locks. <laughs> we played that game like at least we beat it though right and then we played resident Evil 1.5 oh my god dude i watched the the leon playthrough uh before i went to sleep last night i'll tell you guys about it on the run and uh yeah now uh i just want to ex excuse to play resident Evil 1 remake again just because now resident Evil 1's fresh in my mind and then i think after this we'll bounce between judo maybe check out that wesker mode and then I think we'll play finally play the N64 version of Resident Evil 2 for our Resident Evil series. But you know what? More Resident Evil the better, man. It's so fun. And plus we need a game to play for one or two days uh, before Evo anyway. So Resident Evil always fits the bill when it comes to like a short but really good game. Anyways, how's everyone doing? Hope you guys are doing good. So let's mix it up. Uh, I want to play one of those new modes. And I was thinking of doing the invisible enemies mode. So okay, hold on. How do I do this? I need to load game. I'm so happy I didn't erase my save files. I believe Chris is our second playthrough, so... Uh, this should be the newest file. So once again, I think is if you want to play the game again. So I looked up real uh, survival, and it doesn't look that much more challenging. Like, I don't think real survival would be fun. It looks more annoying and time-consuming than anything. So what it does is it makes it so that the item boxes are all uh individual and they don't transfer the items between each other so that's a lot of like backtracking like a ton of backtracking and that's pretty much it so it's not that exciting i mean it is on the hardest setting but i think invisible enemies will be more of a challenge and more fun uh to play okay so uh load cleared save yeah i don't know so we'll play uh invisible enemy instead and of course, we'll play on hard. Uh, I've heard about this mode, and this is going to be real fun. I've done no preparation for this, so this will be hilarious. Resident Evil. Uh, it's up to you guys. What the hell? This looks like this. He looks like he's straight from 1080 snowboarding. What the hell kind of costume is that? Whoa, what's up with this costume? This is like a Call of Duty Warzone costume. I don't know how I feel about that. So it's up to you guys. Uh, we're probably only going to play one playthrough of this before we move on to the next Resident Evil. So what do you guys want to do? It's your call. Uh, say Chris or Jill. And whoever gets the most votes is who I play. And then we'll, we'll start her up. All right. We'll pick Jill. Uh, we already use this costume, so let's mix it up. Um, press 1 for the Warzone costume. And press 2 for this BSAA costume. 1 for Warzone, 2 for BSAA. And then whoever is most popular, I'll pick. Yeah, it looks like more 1s. If you, if you subtract Chronos, it's definitely more 1s. All right. So for the people that voted uh, 2, you can thank Chrono for sabotaging your votes. All right, we're going Warzone on this. All right, this is going to be fun. Why didn't we just do a poll? Too lazy to set it up. If I click off the screen, weird things happen. Alpha team is this HD version is a little weird. Oh, let me know the volume is, please. Raccoon City, where we are searching for the helicopter. Let me turn it down a bit on myself. Bravo team, who disappeared during the middle of their mission. Bizarre murder cases have recently occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about 10 people. Victims were apparently eaten. I told you guys that it's cool they redid this cutscene, but I felt like it was more scary when they showed like screenshots of newspapers and stuff. Bravo teams. It made it really eerie. 
But this part, of course, is cool. Just the Safe starting of it. The body of Kevin. Yeah, the OG was like really scary. The reason is because you have to work with a lot with little, you know. We continued our search for the other members, and it turned into a nightmare. If you guys notice, a lot of successful horror movies are actually low budget movies because when to to do a successful horror movie you're the director and the writer have to be very good with tone you know and it's, it's about how the movie feels and all that and that's why a lot of the most successful ones are actually the low budget ones compared to a lot of other genres of movies you know this is kind of like that example of that Yo, what's up, Steever? <sighs> Who's this again? Is it Joseph? <laughs> Carlos. Wait, I thought the dogs were supposed to be invisible. Not my Resident Evil. It'd be cool if they redid this whole cutscene, but everything was invisible. So is the volume good, guys? Thumbs up. This is the best part. <laughs> Chris, this way. Damn. Wesker had to save him, guys, because Chris needed to be tested. Damn it. Don't you dare say that's a bobble. He needed to test. Oh, I mean, yeah, Wesker definitely underestimated them. Well, I, I think... In hindsight, there are only three stars a lot of Wesker's now. plan actually Dr. did Wesker, was successful. We don't know where Chris is. What is this? Place? DK, thanks for the bits, bro. Not quite your ordinary house, that's for sure. Damn, going from the Game Boy hey, Color Wesker, version, where's Chris? To this is like Jill whiplash. No. You don't want to go back out there. Damn, dude. But we've got to find. What was that? Chris? No. Jill, go and investigate. I'm going with her. No, I put it on hard, bro. Chris and I go back a long way. It's Lancer. Right. You two Dude, I was watching some of the wire Stay last sharp. night. Stay sharp. I was getting my Lance Reddick on. Resident Kino remake. This remake is so good. You're insane, Vesper. No, I'm just a Resident Evil fan and not a fake fan like you, DK. A dining room. YOC. What's that stand for? Oh, shit, what are the controls? Every Resident Evil game, man, I, s I swear the controls change. It's so, like, disorientating. That gunfire. I'm counting on you to investigate, Jill. Sure thing, Wesker. It'd be funny if Wesker was like halfway through the door. He's like, "Oh, uh, hey, I was just checking behind the door." Okay, what's run? Okay, it's square in this. Okay, I just went from X's run. Now it's square. So I'm assuming X's uh, shoot. Got cold feet already? It's not like you. I mean, Barry, there's invisible enemies. Is it just zombies, or is it every- Actually, don't even spoil it for me. Let me figure it out myself. It'll be a surprise. I don't want to know if the bosses are invisible. We'll just play- We'll play it like I'm playing the blind, right? Let's play this shit blind. Yeah, no questions. The only movement is the silent flicker of the candle's flame. Man, this game is Kino, bro.
This whole like I think you'd better take a main look hall this. and dining room areas. So sick how they redid this area. They gotta right. remake Resident Evil 1 again, guys, I'm telling you. Do Cole Veronica. Joe, see if you can find any other clues. Let's redo RE1. Examining this. Let's make it FPS. Let's take it to the next level. Add some aim skill in there. Barry. What the hell is this Jill costume, by the way, guys? Why? What's with the war zone costume? I don't get it. Uh, is there a quick turn in this? Thank God. The way the doors open in this game is really weird. It takes forever for the door to open, but when it does, you run right through it. Wait, I thought he's supposed to be invisible. Over the sh shoulder RE1 and RE engine? Yeah, either works. <gasps> Damn. Oh! I can hear them. You can still hear them. Dude, this is kind of scary. Maybe I shouldn't have played this. Did I see the Resident Evil Raccoon City movie? What is Unfortunately, it? I did. It was Look fucking out, terrible. It's a Wait, I thought he was supposed to be invisible. Let me take care of it. He should have been like, "What are you talking about, Jill? I don't see anything." I what the hell is this thing? I found Kenneth killed by this thing. Let's report this to Wesker. <clears throat> uh, no. Damn. I forgot how pretty this game is, man. I mean, I know it's the HD version on Steam. But I'm sure even on GameCube, it was like, whoa. Just the detail. Ah, <gasps> oh, fuck. So I do have to deal with that zombo. Jill, help me look for him. But let's not leave this hall. Good idea. Good idea. Yeah, the new Resident Evil one. I went on a rant on the on the Return to Raccoon City movie <clears throat> a few times now. We went from no, we went from a TV show that has absolutely nothing to do with Resident Evil and a movie that whiplashes you with so many Resident Evil references, you go numb by the end of the movie. Like, every two seconds, it's like, did you know this is a Resident Evil movie? Well, here's a fucking reference to remind you. Oh my god, dude. It was brutal. And every actor in that movie seemed like they didn't want to be in it. They wanted to be anywhere else but in the movie. Like I said, the, the actress that played Claire, she didn't even, like, bother to learn how to ride a motorcycle. They used fucking CG and a stunt double for her to... It's not even like she had a, a car chase scene. Just literally riding a motorcycle. From like point A to point B. They couldn't be bothered. Man. Like I said. We talked about how remakes can be done. And if it should be identical 1-1. One, one, or add different things. And man. The choices they made in this game are so good. The only thing I can criticize is like there's some puzzles I wish they would have made a little bit better. Like the triple box. <laughs> water puzzle that was kind of whack but for the most part they're really good do i have to go upstairs too no loading screen i really hope the re show doesn't get a season two it won't dude it got uh the cowboy bebop show uh, got cancelled, and this Resident Evil show got worse ratings than the Cowboy Bebop one, so I doubt they will give it a second season. Barry. Any luck, Jill? No, nothing. What's going on around here? I can't figure it out. Same here. Chris, and now Wesker. Same here. There's not much we can do. <laughs> we can search for him separately. I'll investigate the dining room again. 
Okay, then I'll try Blade to go on the other side. <sighs> This mansion is gigantic. It's huge. Could easily get lost. Not only is this mansion gigantic, it only has okay. two bathrooms. Oh, I almost forgot. Or one bathroom on this side, remake. two in the garden house. I don't know how many in remake. Maybe three. Thanks. I may need it. Listen, if something happens. Let's meet up in this hall. Good idea. Got it. Okay. Okay. This game is so sick, dude. It's so sick. Uh, you know what? I want to go grab that ammo. Oh, the music. <laughs> That's my inventory button. Okay, this triangles map. Okay, circles, inventory, three ink ribbons. It should probably save immediately, hey? Like, we're gonna die. <laughs> like, we're actually gonna die here. I don't want to fuck with anything right now. Even moving this is scary. If this- if only this game had a randomizer mode. Invisible Zombies is an awesome idea. Wasn't there another mode too, Bunky, where uh, you guys said one of the characters has like bombs on them? And if they grab you, it's Ripperoni? That sounds kind of fun too. If I want another excuse to play RE1. Nuke mode? <clears throat> there is a randomizer- is it a mod or is it an official thing though? You got the map. Oh, mode is stupid. I want to grab those two pieces of ammo. I need to figure out how these invisible enemies work. Oh, it's forest? That's cool. And I think the best strategy is to not do too much, uh, fighting. I'm just worried about how to deal with this guy. Okay, I know I can hear them. Maybe I should turn up my speakers then. Then the aim assist work. I don't think it does. Oh, we have a film ammo. I think I have to go this way first. I want to check the other side and save quick. I just heard the zombie. He's somewhere in that hallway. I gotta use uh, my apex instincts on this. All right, DK. Have a good night, man. Hope you enjoy evil if you don't see me till then. <clears throat> Alright, definitely gonna save, guys. This is gonna be a crazy run. Wait. There's no typewriter in this room? Oh, wait. It's, it's in the dining room now. Invisible typewriter. <laughs> How much of a true Resident Evil fan are you? That's hilarious. By the way, guys, I'm proud to announce that the future has been shipped. Since I was one of the first orders, the future has been shipped. And the package has left Atlanta and went to this place called, uh, I forgot what it's called. It's called, like, Cincinnati or something? But anyways, it's going there. 
But I also have some bad news. So this package is coming to my place, Ohio? I guess so. This package is supposed to come to my house in two days, right? But these bastards emailed me mid-shipment and they're already charging me import fees. $50 import tax fees just to get into the country. Motherfucker. Yeah, I got hit hard. It did me dirty. What's in the box? <laughs> Two days, you guys will find out. Oh, yeah. See, I do have to go the other way. They changed it. They didn't tell you beforehand? I think they literally said there's no taxes or something, but then, yeah, they changed their minds. I wouldn't be surprised, man, if those Canadian customs, dude. Like, can I'm like I said, Canada has some of the worst. Canada is just the worst. When it comes to anything entering this country, it's like the most strict, ridiculous thing ever. Like they literally treat like every package as I don't know a weapon, and every person that comes is a criminal for some reason. But yeah, we have two future controllers coming in, one for me, one for my brother, and then uh, it looks like after EVO, we'll start playing some Street Fighter V again. It'll be fun. Super pumped. <laughs> Raises suspicion. Yeah, that's what I wrote on the package. Gore. <laughs> Seriously, what the hell is this cost, you guys? And what is, what is the point of this visor? I I mean, in real life, what is the practical use of this visor in the, in the military? What is this for? Like when I see this visor, it's good for snowboarding. That's how I see it. But what is its military use? To protect your eyes? Isn't there a lot of different types of goggles you can wear to protect your eyes, though? UV filter? You mean like gunner glasses, Monkey Man? Because gunner glasses has a UV filter. I used that when I played Overwatch. So these are like a, a larger version of gunner glasses. Remember when you guys used to see gunner glasses ads like everywhere? No? Oh, man. They were everywhere, dude. Like, literally everywhere. It was like the thing. Now it's just like G Fuel. <laughs> okay, this room's gonna be dangerous. Fuck. Okay, I know there's a zombie like... Oh, it doesn't show the zombies lying on the floor? Oh no, how am I gonna deal with the Crimsons then? Fuck. I didn't even think about that. Fuck. Wait! I can see him! What? Oh, the mirror lets me see him. What the fuck? So I can see the reflection. That's fucking cool. Okay. So we can cheat. Got it. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, there's another mirror here. Oh my god, I don't have any fucking bullets. And the aim assist doesn't work. Oh, 
Fuck, man. I need him to come to the mirror. I think there's another zombie on the other side, too. I have to kill this one because I need to not waste my ammo. But we're on hard mode, too. It's probably tanky as fuck. This is so fucking dumb. Why did I do this, guys? Fucking camera, stay on me. I I don't even know what he's doing. Fuck. We're gonna be spending most of our time running. It sounded like he was behind me. Fuck cheeks. Where is he, man? Did he run past me or something? Okay, there's another mirror here. You know, I feel like they put these mirrors strategically for this for this mode. That's really cool. It's definitely one here too. There he is. Get the fucking ammo! Ah, you piece of shit! How lit am I now? Oh god, there's zombies up here too. Already caution, hey? If we can get to the outside part, this is very risky. Yeah, we're orange. There's definitely one up here. Why do we play this, guys? Why do I do this? How the fuck am I gonna push that statue if I don't know where this clown is, man? Holy fuck. Well, at least I saved. Alright, it's gonna be a long night. Invisible Kino. Damn, why'd you guys say Jill, man? I, I need to tank- I should, I should have picked Chris, I need to tank this shit. You mod your game without me? No, this is part of the game! This is an actual mode in the game, dude. There's gonna be a lot of like memorization, you know, like me dying, memorizing my route, and yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's try this again. Okay. Here we fucking go again. 
I remember you can shimmy the zombies in this game. And I noticed you can you can see the zombie for a second before he attacks you, it seems. Alright. I don't know where the fuck this clown went to. There we go, okay. Skill? the ammo. Alright, let's try this again. Hi there. Oh, I should've went. I should've went, I hesitated. Oh, you piece of shit! Sit your ass down. I had it, guys. I got this shimmy, but I didn't commit. Now I have to kill the zombo on this side. Okay, he's right by the rail. Okay, maybe if I get lucky, he'll be right in front of the statue. Okay, let's chill. Let's see if he falls for the bait. If we get bit, it's over. Oops. I see blood. I see blood. I think he's dead. Yeah, he's definitely dead. To the controls. And I can't go outside yet, right? I need to go outside to get those full heals. Stained glass window. Oh, what? This door is locked? Okay. So I guess we have to go upstairs on the second floor. So yeah, guys, uh, last night we, after a million soft blocks, we beat uh, Resident Evil 1.5 last night. Can I enter from the outside from here? I want to enter here because it's got those um, multiple full heals that I can really use. Anyways. It was the first time where we played, like, a new Resident Evil game. Well, even though it's a canceled Resident Evil game, but... It was the first time where I didn't want to play the other playthrough because the game was so like hollow and empty, especially after the first half. But I did watch the whole Leon playthrough. It was something that was like better to watch than they actually play because of the amount of annoying softlocks that could happen. Uh, even though it is like, it just recently became a playable build without using the debug menu uh, for like since like last year. Anyways, I'm glad we played Elza because Leon's playthrough was like really bad. It was horrible. Like Ada, Marvin is like the main dude you're with, and like Ada, she she's like a scientist that works for Umbrella, and there's really no like conversation about her being a spy, but it's like hinted on kind of. Like Leon tries to like get more information from her. And then she just kind of like spontaneously just dies at the end. And it's really weird. Like there's the dialogue is just really horrible and it goes nowhere. The starting is funny though. I should show you guys the starting at least just to see it. Basically the game is almost exactly the same. You just start off on the third floor where the helipad is rather than the bottom where Elsa is. So you're kind of out of order at the beginning. 
but then afterwards it's like pretty much the same game but you guys should just look watch it on youtube or something just to see it but uh it was interesting playing those cancelled games okay we're gonna die here hey i can actually go outside from here can't i but there's two zombies outside i think this is where i actually have to go let me see if this door is locked yeah, you do have to go outside first. Forgot about that. Oh, man. How the hell are we going to deal with this now? I know there's at least two zombies here. Oh, God. I think he tried to grab me. For sure. get up here how do we can we get out without dying dude this is gonna be really tough there's usually a zombie like always like right here and one shot So cheap. Maybe if I stood on the stairs and baited them to puke on me, maybe that would have been a better strategy. Okay. So the first key we get is the... Okay, hold on. Sword key. Okay. I finished zero for the first time ever last week on hard and class controls game pushed me to my absolute limits. <laughs> Dude, Resident Evil Zero is sick, but it is hard, man. I also played on hard mode with classic controls and <laughs> and I did it on my first playthrough so I got like the full RE0 experience. I got soft locked so many times. That game is a hoot. Did Sword say you can have that key? I don't know, I didn't have his approval. Actually, let me see um, what door it is beside this. I'm like, I'm curious. What key it is. Might Aaron. be armor. Wait! Oh, oh Jill. I changed the cutscene. Any good news? Other than I'm still alive in this madhouse? No. <laughs> Can't say it's much safer here either. We'd better secure our escape route first. There's gotta be a back door somewhere. Yes, Barry. All right then, let's split up again. Hey, hold on a sec. Look what I found. Heels? What? A can of fizz. It's sure to yellow and mellow those things. It's yours. Hopefully you won't have to use it. Ooh. What about you? Oh, don't worry. I like the buddy system we have here. <laughs> I see. Thanks. I'll take it. It's so big you can't even see the uh, full Ciao. screen. Get 
Okie dokie. Almond, okay. <laughs> yeah, you couldn't help yourself, Gore, because it's Resident Evil, dude. But that Resident Evil 1.5 was so interesting because, you know, that was a Capcom game. You know, that was a game that they worked on and, and it was just crazy, you know, the, the whole year on that game. They did use a lot of the lab area, though. It's interesting. Yes, please. The, these items are like the most important items in the game for this mode. <gasps> it's a banger. Yo, it's sword. A banger. Thanks it's for the five bomb, banger. bro. Thanks, buddy. It's a banger. It's a banger. We're playing some Kino games again. Banger. I got it's heartburn. It's a banger. It's a banger. It's a Haruken banger. There's no herb here. <gasps> Lock pick. It's a banger. It's a banger. It's a Haruken banger. I remember if it's zombies or doggos in the remake. It's a banger. It's a banger. It's a Haruken banger. I swear I touched the doggo, but I could be wrong. Oh, thank God. No! No! I screwed up. Unless you can combine an inventory. No, I picked the the fertilizer first. It's a banger! It's a banger! It's a Haruken banger! Shit, dude, we needed that red herb so badly. We're gonna have to backtrack. Yo, sword, thanks for the gift sub to Bunky. Appreciate it. Thanks, sword, for all the support, man. Man, do I even want to deal with this room right now? Am I one shot? Almost. I got the I got the defensive item too though. This is a cool cutscene, dude. <laughs> So crazy. Please kill him for me. Thank you. Uh oh. It's gonna be me once I go on keto again. Nice. Worth it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Any other news happen lately, guys? Moments like these makes Jill's playthrough more interesting than Chris's. Yeah, Chris's playthrough has some interesting parts, but yeah, maybe Jill has a little bit more. Just because she's interacting with Barry so much, you know? But Rebecca's pretty cool, too. Yeah, I don't have enough space for the shotgun. 
We need to make it to a save. That should be priority right now. The only problem is, is that damn broken doorknob they made in Remake where I can't go back and forth so many times. So I gotta be careful. Yeah, there's also zombies in this hall too. If I go this way, I can use the herb. And, uh... Grab the shotgun. I better do that. You know, I don't have to worry about the crimsons too much because I probably won't be killing a lot of zombies, but... But uh, there are some on the ground that forces you to have to deal with them. More defensive items, yes. Uh oh. I like how they make you play it out. Like, they just give you that sense of dread. Oh, wait. It lets me exit? That's weird. I guess maybe if you're playing Chris. Wait, what? Did I screw up? I swear in the original, it wouldn't let you use it like that. Uh... Wait, I can't use it? I'll have to maybe examine it. Yes. Okay, now can I open it? Remember to check if our room is green? Yeah, for sure. I just can't... There's gonna be some rooms where I can't grab all the items though, Bunky, because... of the zombos, right? So I have to... Just run through the game pretty much as fast as I can. It'll be it'll make it easier than trying to grab everything. Wait, there's no berry? never seen that in my life is it because i left the room and i already ran into barry i think that's what happened since i already ran to barry he doesn't save you holy shit we just found something new interesting and the funny part is i i went out of that room just to check what key that door used so it completely messed up the run <laughs> Interesting. That's funny. Need the broken shotgun? No, not not for uh yeah, I mean if I do it that way obviously. I already grabbed the tape from him, right? Yeah. Damn, this angle is so sick. This is one of the best... One of the best parts of this game. Like, right here. It's so fucking cool. It's definitely one of the pros of having a pre-rendered... 
Well, not really a pre-rendered background, but you know what I mean. A locked camera angle. Nice. Okay, let's grab this herb. Alright. Try to do this a little bit more smoothly. Ah! Got the double shimmy. Yeah, this is already looking bad. Okay, hopefully we can make up for it and not get bit by this guy. Oh, he's already aggro? Shit. Shit. Oh, this is so much worse. Now we have to somehow make up for it and not get bit by this guy. At least we know he's really close to us. Oops. Shit. Dude, I got bad RNG. I killed him in two shots last time. Come on. That was a restart either way. Okay, we gotta work on our shimmy game. All because Barry didn't save us. Come on, man. We had like four defensive items too. We're ready to rock and roll. How do you guys think Kimberly is going to play? Is she gonna have a command run? Since she's Bushin Ryu, is she gonna play more like like Guy? Or is she gonna play more like Ibuki? I think she'll have a wall jump. I wonder if she'll wear rollerblades while fighting. I hope not. I hope she's not like Ibuki at all. She's gonna be a... <laughs> she... She's like a grappler. Maki... Kinda plays similar to Guy. Like, more than... Well, I don't know. Zeku, Yun form... Like, Guy, like, his signature thing is basically the jumping elbow drop, you know? That's, like, one of Guy's most signature moves besides the command run. Because Yunzeku's got the command run. Maki's got the command run. Give her an EX kunai? You mean an OD kunai? I don't want another guy? Yeah, but everyone does. Everyone wants Guy. Or they at least want that... That function. Because a lot of people like playing Zeku. She's gonna have a command run. I think we can all agree on the command run. But I'm just curious if she's gonna play more like uh more like Ibuki. Alright, let's try this again. Yes. Yes! Yes! This is the run. This is the run, guys. This is not the run. Okay. 
Shit, he's not dead. Oh, I know he is, he is. Alright, one bite. Sounds good to me. Okay. Now whatever I do, <laughs> after I get the sword key, do not... <laughs> Do not activate the berry cuts. Okay, let's try my staircase strat. See if it works. I don't know if they puke on you if it's like the tiny staircases, but we'll find out. Oh, it doesn't even show them. You just see the puke. without the other guy getting here in time. It was 50-50, man. Who's gonna be on the right or the left? Caution. We're still doing better than... Uh... than last time. Um, Let me think what I have to deal with. Get the defensive items. I think we can get it. We can get to that red herb. I know you got heartburn, Joe. Hold on. Just hold on. Well, with Rashid in the game, I think Rashid for the most part can play most of the same. I, I'm pretty sure they're going to add some really cool mechanics to him with the wind, though. Because Rashid's character design is actually really, really good. And Rashid having different supers, they're going to give him his V-Trigger 1 super, almost no doubt. And his... his uh, his level 2 super will almost no doubt be V-Trigger 2 as well. It's just too easy. Yo, what's up, Big B? Didn't you play this game again? Well, we beat uh, the... the ca we went through two cancelled Resident Evil games. We played the Game Boy Color game, got softlocked a million times, and we beat it. And then we played Resident Evil 1.5 and got softlocked literally all night. And we finally beat it at like 1 a.m. 1 in the morning. And then now I just want an excuse to play Remake again, because, uh... Resident Evil 1 is fresh in my mind. And then, uh, we'll keep going. Like, I just want to finish up some of the last second things I didn't get to try out in the other Resident Evil games that we played. And then we'll bounce back to going, you know, through it in order. I just really like Resident Evil, man. Especially Resident Evil 1. I'm sad I missed the Game Boy Color one. <laughs> well, you know, I'll upload on YouTube eventually. You just check out the archives. It 
It wasn't that long. If you skip the, the soft locking, you finished it pretty fast. When are you uh, frying your eyes again with Virtual Boy? Gotta finish those games. The chat really doesn't like it when I play Virtual Boy. Why did I do this puzzle again if I already have the map? The chat really does not want me to play Virtual Boy ever again. If we somehow, like, continue our retro adventure, I will put the chat through hell again. And I will force them to watch Virtual Boy. But until then... We have too many games to play. No, it's not Virtual Boy. Virtual Boy Arcade. <laughs> okay. Grab the red herb first. Echo Jr.? Possibly. If the chat wants me to boot up the Dreamcast and finally end that terrible series for good. So combine these. And this. Use this. And grab this. Way better than last time. Just chill. Just tap it in. Just tap it in. It makes, it makes way more sense the fertilizer is, is up there, by the way. Well, I don't know. If you put it in a storage with the gardening tools, I guess that makes sense as well. Okay. Let's get another defensive item. Okay. Thank you. The menu sounds in this game are so satisfying. Everything's satisfying, dude. It's really, really well done. It's so unfortunate it was released only for the GameCube. It's baffling, actually. Shit. Played myself. Ah, uh, we can't use that herb. I don't want. I can't waste any herbs. Well, let's see. If I run to the save room, I'm gonna end up getting bit anyways. Yeah, triple herb. Smart. Yeah. Triple whammy. Good call. I was about to do something really crazy. It's best that I don't share that with you guys. Holy shit, Brawly. Gonna, <laughs> gonna ban that, that word from the chat. Next week, bro. Next week. You'll be able to relive the adventure with us and then you gotta relive the adventure with me, with other M. Wait, Barry's not here to help me again. What the fuck? Oh. 
god. Oh, okay, what good. Now? Nah, dude, it played me. Wesker! Barry! Help! Wait, the roof almost hit my Jill, head. You in there? Barry? Get me out of here! The door's jammed! Stand back! <clears throat> Grab my hand! <clears throat> I gotta admit, guys, I really thought it was gonna hit me. I wanna relive the shame. <laughs> it's not reliving the shame, dude. You're gonna That's like it. Close one. You're gonna be like, wow, Second you know plane, what? You would have fit nicely into a sandwich. Really? If you're OR open minded, nice. you'll be like, maybe this was the best but Metroid Barry, game. Didn't you say you were going it was ahead of its time. To find other clues? It was I'm chemo. glad and all, but why are you here? I just had something I wanted to check. Anyway, we should get back to searching for Wesker and Chris. Oscar performance, Barry. Thanks, Barry. I owe you one. Don't mention it. All right. We're almost at the save room, guys. We're almost there. Let me think of my routing. There's no point of doing the paint the painting puzzle. It's best just to run straight to the save room. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Should be a zombie in here too. I should. I'm think. I'm debating if I should fight him or not. I don't have a lighter. Having a crimson in this area would really suck ass. But I have to come to the save room constantly. It scares me every time. What? I put two knives in his fucking head. It killed him. How did that shot miss though? What the fuck? Oh, that's from upstairs. Okay. The body is right on the corner of the wall here. What the fuck was that? Do the zombies produce shadows? Not that I know of. I think that would be too easy though. That'd be too easy to see. Okay, yeah, let me uh I don't imagine it's nice having some inventory here. Okay, uh the closet key is for costumes, right? Definitely gonna save. We're not gonna be using that much ammo yet. We should keep at least one heal with us. Well, it says we're gonna save. I should be in caution now, right? Oh, I'm still in fine, okay. Let's fill that bad boy up. Once I get the lighter, I have to. I don't think I'll be able to make it in time, but we'll see. Yes. Okay, we saved, guys. Yay! Progress. Alright, now for phase two. More memorization. My routing has to be really good here. Because we're going through the long, skinny hallway. 
And we lost two defensive items, unfortunately. Yeah, it's very good to save. I knew he was there, but I didn't know how close. I can't, I can't fight any of the zombies in this hallway area. It's too fucking dangerous. Yes. Should. Oh, there was one here. Oh my god, dude. Dude's breaking through the door. Fuck, this is gonna be hard. But we saved, though. Um. No, I, I already, I already have it, uh, bro. It's already set up, bro. So you're good. Thanks. Don't wait, Roy. Roy was on my ass, bro. He made sure it was ready to go, ready to rock. He called my bluff, and he was like, "You better have it." Let's grab this ammo too. But yeah, like, compared to Resident Evil 1.5, like, you just, even the original 96 Resident Evil, you know, the rooms were just a lot more interesting, and there's little details that you can find more about the game, you know? Maybe I will kill one of those zombies in that hallway. I don't know. I gotta grab the, here, so we gotta light that zombie up. And kill him. I wonder how much damage the acid does. A lot. A fucking lot. Okay. At least the lighter is right here. So the one zombo is right around the corner. I gotta nuke him. And then I gotta light up two corpses immediately. It's kind of cool too, because I never actually used the... I never really lit up the zombies. Well, first, because it was my first playthrough and I didn't know about the Crimsons. But now it's it's even more important, because even with lots of ammo, the grenade launcher, with Jill and all that, since they're invisible... Oops, I didn't equip my shotgun, my bad. Okay. So, actually, let me grab the thing with me, because we're going to use it right away. So we got two stocks there, and we got more stocks where the doggos are on the other side of the mansion. But this doorknob is broken. That that change changed so much, because making this doorknob broken on this, this door to right here, down this hall. You can only go through back and forth so many times before Barry fixes it. <sighs> Fuck, dude! I was gonna- I was just about to fire! Okay, I can see the knife, so when he gets up, I'll know. Okay. Okay, the corpse is somewhere right here. Okay, let's wrap around. I want to kind of pile those two zombies up in the same spot, but it's going to be difficult. There's one right in here, too. Right. 
I, sh I should have wasted him. Oh, they don't- if you pop their head, they don't turn crimson? Okay, I didn't know that. Pages are blank. Uh, oh shit, I didn't put away the ink ribbon. Damn it, dude. It's okay, we're gonna open the door anyways, but... So that means a shotgun's even more useful. We can test the shadow theory here, Bunky. Because I can see my shadow. He's like right around the corner. Where is he? Here he comes. No, no shadow. Okay, somewhere on the steps. Alright, two bodies. One on the steps, one in the corner. It was easier to shoot him around that corner because the audio made it really good. Yeah, I think if they let you see the shadows, it would be... Like I said, too, too, um... Too easy be too many ways to see them. Okay, uh, we need this. Don't need this. I get rid of this pretty soon. Probably gonna get rid of this pretty soon. My health is caution. I love the planning you have to do with this, it's so cool. I mean, if you like watch the guide or a video, it'll probably tell you like the exact routing, but figuring it out yourself is really fun. Fuck, I might get bit again here though. Cause I didn't put away that ink ribbon. Yeah, fuck, even if I go around the side. Man, that zombie is really annoying. Like, he's not... He's not a big deal if I don't need to go this way, right? Because it's only this one door, but... Shit. 
Ah, I didn't grab the fucking lighter. What am I doing, man? Oh, brutal. I've got to restart. I'm going to get bit by that guy again. Okay, this part is really tough to do well. The skinny hallway makes it so hard. Okay, put away the ink ribbon this time, please. That was my bad, though. I fucked up. Twice. Okay. And grab the canteen, too. Okay. Here we go again. These stairs are useful. Okay, he's right here. Is that a head pop, Bunky? Oh, what? Oh, you fucking mother... I didn't see well enough... If he was getting up. Okay, one at the end of the door. And I got a head pop RNG. Cost is two defensive items though. Fudge. Okay, I'm gonna try cutting to the right this time. Actually, no. He's gonna get me no matter what. I have to shimmy him. Damn it, I didn't grab the item, bro, behind me. If I get bit again, well, I'm dead either way, but I, I want to restart it if I get bit again. Yeah. That zombie is in such an annoying spot. Okay. Yeah, I wonder if the dog with the key, you can see his collar when he's invisible. That'd be so cool, because that means like they planned out the game ahead of time for the whole invisible mode. Would be really, really sick if that's the case. So it won't let me empty the canteen bunkie unless there's a there's a body. Guess we'll find out. Okay. One crispy. Crispies. All right. I gotta grab some heals and somehow get the hell out of this hall alive. Half of it remains. Okay, that's it. So, not a single drop remains.
This is actually kind of cool how they changed this puzzle. It's not a puzzle, but how they changed how it works a little bit. How are we going to get through this fucking hallway, man? It's so hard because I can't tell, like, if I shimmy a zombie successfully, I can't, I can't see them when they, sh when they grow up with a grab. At least I don't think you can. Okay, I better full heal here. Am I out of defensive items? I am. At least I was able to clear this hall, though. Those three zombies would be annoying because I have to come here so often. Go with a lighter. Go with this herb and exchange it for this. Alright. Just enough help to hopefully get me through this damn hall alive. Oh, man. Hey Vesper and all, this is my favorite RE game of all time. I recently just uh, played this about six times to get the trophies on stream. It was great. That's awesome, man. I, I really enjoy Resident Evil 1 a lot. I really like the original, like the 96 version. We played it so many times. I think it was like eight, ten times now. And we played this many times too. I keep finding more excuses to play it. We played the, the Game Boy Color cancel game recently, which was fun. And we played Resident Evil 1.5 recently. But well, now I'm just like finding excuse and finding modes to play that I haven't played before. So this is like an awesome... This invisible enemy thing is awesome so far. Okay, good. I dodged one. Super lucky that I dodged that one. Okay. Barry. Whoa! He didn't hear the door open? Any good news? Other than I'm still alive in this madhouse? No. Can't say it's much safer here either. We'd better secure our escape route first. There's gotta be a back door somewhere. Alright then, let's split up again. Hey, hold on a sec. Look what I've found. What? A can of fizz. <laughs> it's sure to yellow and mellow those things. It's yours. Hopefully you won't have to use it. Thank you. What about you? Oh, don't worry. I like the buddy system we have here. I see. I like the different camera angle Thanks. for upstairs. I'll take it. See you later. Ciao. The dialogue's the same. We need armor for the forest. And then I think we have access to outside now, don't we? No, not yet. Okay. Uh, let me think here. Which door is accessible now? Remake. Uh, we can go outside to the mirror side. Basically, we want to get to Rebecca's save room now. I'm thinking it's still from up here, the key. try the other door. If this doesn't work, then we have to go up from downstairs. Okay, it is this way. 
Alright. This is more like original RE now. Now the problem is, is I don't know if the zombies here, I don't remember if these are the puke, because in the original RE, these are the puke ones that are by the stairway. So I gotta see if I can run by them. I mean, either way, I have to run by them. Okay, we can use the dog whistle at this point too, but I want to save. That one wasn't the puke one. What? He was already on the staircase and he blocked me. Should be one right behind me too. Okay, that wasn't so bad though. Let's see, I probably am in caution though. They, all, they only puke on the stairs? For a remake you mean? In, in the original, the ones by the stairway, they puke even when they're not on the stairs. So you can run by them. It's like a notorious part because there's three of them. But in this game, they seem to bite. It's okay. We're, we're in yellow caution. We get another save, so this is perfect. No extra ink ribbon here. Anything. I'm sure there's nothing on this shelf. There's just so much detail. Okay. We need the whistle. Probably need pistol ammo. Definitely need to save. Don't need the heals because their herbs are there. So we need to use the pistol, grab the key, and back down. I should definitely save. I've made a lot of progress. Whoa! Feels like I made a lot of progress. We didn't actually make it that far. Okay, let's save. Last ink ribbon. I always complain how there's too many ink ribbons in these games, but for once, not this time. This time we need more. I think there's some ink ribbons too on the bottom where the map is, and I didn't grab it, so maybe we can detour there too. Now that I'm in, I have more items now, and I should go grab that ink ribbon. We need as many saves as possible. Damn, he made it off the staircase. How whack is that? On one shot. Ah. Oh. If I would have made it, I had a full heal in that that thing. That's why I didn't use the heals. We have to. I have to make it there without healing, so we can abuse those herbs outside because they're too godlike. Good thing we saved. Okay, one is right near the staircase. Well, I'm curious if it'll save its location now that we loaded. I guess we'll find out. I even walked backwards. But he was like already past the staircase. I just dodged him. Fucking crazy. You have to listen to the sounds, man. doesn't matter how many times we would have got hit because we're going to use this herb anyways as long as we survived okay 
how are we gonna deal with this now? See the key. That's fucking cool. Damn, no stun. Now the other dog is here. It actually didn't do too much damage. Okay, we're gonna go back and heal. So we got put in caution. A coin was hidden. Wait, that's a coin? There's nothing unusual. Oh yes, yeah, the imitation of a key. I forgot. Okay. Uh, just think of the order I want to do this because I, I only have think I have two more uses of those herbs. We can go to the mirror room again. Go through the mirror room again. And I can grab this key, run through the hall. I only got about like one or more bites. I can heal first and I'll guarantee I'll survive it. Either way, I need to deal with this now, especially since I'm close to the herbs. Okay, I'm gonna use the herbs first and then we're gonna go deal with this key situation. Yo, what's up, Rubus? Yeah, dude, we're playing uh, Invisible Enemies on hard. It's crazy so far. It's really fun. Oh, you can see the, the doggo's drool bunky. Yeah, the enemies are invisible. So I have to memorize and plan out everything. We've died many times already. Yeah. The dogs aren't as scary though, because I can just walk, you know, Bunky, but there's, there's no way to really see the zombies besides the mirrors. Okay, I just dodged him. That was good. Oh, I dodged him too. Nice. Super lucky. Super lucky. Oh, one just puked. No, that was the crimson. The crimson just got up, Bunky. Good thing I healed. What does that half door lead to? I forgot. Best, are you excited for the RE4 remake? I know you're a Street Fighter guy, but since you're getting into RE games, does that make you look forward to it? <laughs> I like how you call me the Street Fighter guy. It's like the opposite, dude. I play way more games than like Street Fighter and fighting games. But that's just the... Uh... <laughs> so funny, man. <laughs> that's the burden I carry, I guess. Uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to uh, any Resident Evil game, to be honest. But yeah, RE4 Remake, I'll take that. Best Resident Show for all Capcom games? Dude, it's just a coincidence.
No, Rubus, they can remake Resident Evil 1 again, man. I've been saying that forever. Remake that shit again, dude. Gotta keep doing it over and over again. To be honest, if I think of a Street Fighter guy, I think you. Come on, guys. Why do you guys have to say that? When Street Fighter 6 comes out, it's gonna be even worse, hey? It's gonna be even worse. No one else carrying the torch? It's true! <laughs> So funny. Dude, I did my evil predictions video and I didn't even mention any other game. I'm like, so what are the Street Fighter 6 predictions? I acted like there was no other fighting game that existed. <laughs> it was so blatant. Okay, how am I going to get through this hallway alive? I'm out of saves too. I need to reload. Okay. I'm just trying to remember what the middle door leads to. The door across from me. If I get to the door across from me, then I don't have to deal with this hallway. I'm just trying to remember what the door right around this mirror leads to. I'm trying to picture the mansion. Well, I just look at the damn map. Okay. Wait, hold on. Right in front of a door. So the mirror. It's the door. Oh, it's that door. Oh, right. They changed it. Yeah. In remake uh, or in original 96 version, it's uh, it's a it's the keypad door, but they changed it. I'm just debating the safest route. I could risk going through the crimson and then I can get to the second floor hallway or I can go straight forward and go all the way around the mansion. But the real hard part is getting to the staircase. Once I get to the staircase, I got to deal with those two zombies again that I didn't kill. I could kill them and light them up, but I'm not going to go through this area too often. Once they go through this one wrap around, it should be good. Okay, I'm gonna go for the I'm gonna go for this middle door. That'd be so hilarious though if it's not the armor key. If it's a helmet key, I'm screwed. Alright, you guys ready to get Wolverined? Oh! Oh I cut that so hard, dude! What the fuck was that line? Oh my god, it is the wrong door. Oh, it's over. We chose the wrong choice. The door was still locked. I thought it was an armor door. Ripperoni. Okay, now we still gotta do a lot. I gotta I gotta kill the doggo again. And we gotta go through this all over again. I got so lucky too on this run because uh I got through the whole hallway without getting hit. Uh, when I went through the mirror hallway, I dodged all the zombies. I got super lucky. That sucks. Okay. Focus. Alright. So it doesn't matter if I get bit by this zombie here on the staircase, because I'm going to heal the full anyways. We can get luckier with, luckier with the doggos. If this one bites me, I'm dead. Mm-hmm. <sighs> 
fuck. Like, I knew where he was, but... I just couldn't move close enough to bait the grab. I thought Strive is done with announcing characters. <laughs> or is there another season? Because for like anime games, they only usually announce like one character, right? Uh, did they show like silhouettes or something? Like, how does it, how does season two work? Rest of Strives has only been out for a year, but yeah, usually a year is the time limit for most anime games. Okay, I can take one bite. That was fucking cheap, dude. He didn't even fucking travel anywhere. What what character does everyone want for Strive? A jam, right? I absolutely will. Okay. Try this again. The other dog's already there? Nice. Didn't seem to take as many bullets as last time. Oh, you piece of shit. Bet your ass up this card, man. Same situation as last time. Definitely need to heal. Well, wait, let me think. Do I need to heal? How greedy can I get? I can take one bite. Because I want to make it to here and get a full heal. Let's get a little greedy. Let's get a little crazy. Maximum greed. I dodged them again. Lucky. No, not lucky. So I should be one shot, right? So if I can get to that other door without the crimson hitting me, then it was worth the risk. If I can't, then Ripperoni. <laughs> Slayer? Yeah, Slayer would be really cool. But then once those characters get announced, they're just gonna complain how those characters got dumbed down because it's Strive, right? And then the cycle continues. Alright guys, pray for me. Can I get to the other fucking door without this crimson slicing me? I'm gonna hug the wall and just pray. Come on, don't hit me, please. Please don't hit me. Yes. Fuck 
This zombie can get me though. Fuck. Oh. Dude, my heart. We need a fucking ink ribbon, dude. There's no ink ribbon I missed in this area. Done by the... By the typewriter? That'd be so sick if there's a save here. There's no ink ribbon here. There's no items here, right? Nope. Running all the way around. As long as those dogs don't kill me. Okay, if I can make it to the hearth without the dog hitting me, we do it with the greed was successful. Yes! Mission complete. <clears throat> but we have no save, so all this could be for naught if I die here now. Get through here without getting hit. Oh my god, he was right here. Cheap bastard. Can I open the door from the side? I should have done that before. This area sucks. Area sucks ass. Damn, dude. And we just fully healed, too. Oh my god. We just fully healed. And we needed it just to survive the game. Right, let's put away these bullets. I need to use the first aid spray. We got one more full heal, though, on that spot. I think killing those zombies would have definitely been worth it. If if I die here and we load again, I have to kill those two zombies. That area is so fucking dangerous. Okay, I'm just anticipating what we have to do next here. I need chemical. I need to heal. I have the two keys. I think there's any reason to even have the pistol with us, honestly. Slots. I never did invisible or zombie wrong because I knew it'd be all raging all over the place. Yeah, I mean, you just gotta do a lot of memorization. Nice, I dodged him. If you do end up playing it, like, I highly recommend you do it on hard, because it will really Im immerse you on on being careful, you know? And you don't just, like, you know, base tank everything. It's a save.
Okay, we need to get to the fertilizer. I need to put away the gem. Three shotgun shells, hey? Yeah, we really should have killed those zombies on the staircase. I don't understand why I didn't do it. There's so much kerosene, kerosene here. That was a bad, bad choice. At least we get some heals here, too. Fucking scary, dude. Super scary. Oh, shit, I forgot to check the pipes. The plants are invisible, by the way, if you guys are wondering. The red one. Honestly, I feel the knife only run as much harder, at least for me, it was, but this is still no picnic. I mean, it depends, right? It depends if you use a guide. It depends if you, you know, you're doing it blind. Because you, if you're using a knife run, like, you don't have to fight really any enemies, right? And if you can see them, it just makes it that much easier to dodge them. Like, this game is very fair on dodging zombies because you can shimmy them. They have a grab animation, you know? And... Even, like, when you watch a speedrun for Resident Evil, it doesn't really matter if you're watching a knife speedrun or a normal speedrun. They're almost exactly the same. Because there's pretty much no enemies you have to kill. It really just comes down to the bosses. Okay, a bunch of herbs here. I need to get this. Maybe I can make one triple stack. But what makes Resident Evil fun, especially the older games, is the decision making. You know, the more decision making, the better. That's what makes it really fun. Figuring out your routing and all that. Shit, one herb left over here. And then I'm gonna grab some shotgun shells in a second here. I really do need to save. I really do want to grab this herb. I don't want to waste my defensive item. I guess we can just save these herbs here. If I need them later. So I'm going to get rid of the jewel in a second. I'll free up another slot. Then I'll have the shotgun shells. Oh yeah, they troll you in this game with the red jewel. I forgot about that. That was hilarious.
I don't need to enter this next room, but I'm going to anyways. God's pistol ammo. I want to get the shotgun ammo, not the pistol ammo. What is that? Oh, it's a defensive light on. Think of my routing here. After this is the piano room. I don't have a safe way to get to this save. No, I, sh I shouldn't grab this. Yeah, that room was a waste, but it's okay. If we die, at least I have some more information. Oh, I just dodged the zombie. Lucky. Yo, what's up, Raid? It's been a fucking party so far with this shit. Okay, at this point, we can save. I'm just thinking if I want to save now. Access to the piano room. We don't want any crimson in this hallway for sure. Otherwise, we have to we have to go through this hallway later. It's gonna be a pain in the ass. So I'll just take a bite here. Piano room. I grab the thing. Good thing I put away that pistol. How much have we covered since I saved? No, we've done a lot. We haven't saved in a long time. We definitely should save here. Yeah, let's definitely save here. Thinking of going and grabbing more ink ribbons from that other room right now, too. I think that's a smart play. More saves will make this easier. Get your back one sec. Now, now that I think about it, I don't think it is an ink ribbon in that map location spot. I think they replaced it with a defensive item in this game. Let me think of my round. We need to get to the piano room. We're gonna get chomped here twice, maybe. But at least we saved. Yeah, 
once there, once on the way back to get the shield. Yeah, it is a defensive item. Yeah, I remember now. Damn, how far can you push this shell? Oh wait, isn't it two pieces in this game? It is. Fuck, I forgot. Uh, cheeks. What happens if I try using it? Is it try to play it? Yeah. Fuck. And we shouldn't have came here. Uh, what door is next? We go in the middle armor room now. We can't access the kitchen now, can we? See what door is say helmet? Oh, yeah, you can. Oh, at least we have a reason to come here. I forgot you have access to the kitchens earlier. There's a zombie lying on the floor. Uh, I can walk around it. Oh, we could just go here. Okay, so there's nothing here. Oh, items here? Awaken the zombo. Have to run around the fucking table. Now. <gasps> Get up, Jill. Them. Oh shit. The lucky dodge. Okay. Uh okay, we're gonna get some more pieces here. There's that one hallway that's a pain in the ass. If I go back down where the where the doggos are, then to deal with I think zombies come through the windows at that point that'd make the bottom part much harder it's helmet I have to go to the top hallway on the other side That'll get me one mask. There's another door I need to go to by the save room as well. Just trying to think which way would be easier. Probably going down the bottom way would be easier. Okay, 
let's do it. I don't think we screw with the doorknob uh, where the save room is if we enter it from from the outside. Pretty sure. Pretty sure. Here we go. Can't go through here again. <laughs> that area is canceled. At least we cleared out this area. Oh, whoops. Didn't read the note. Broke my immersion. We're starting to stock up on heals, which is good. Using a save here would be really greedy, so I don't want to. we have we only have one right well I go into those double doors oh yeah we have to we have to go to yawn right we haven't even done that yet so we definitely need a heal for us Might even need to bring an extra heal too. We're gonna get bit a lot running through that hall. I could always eat. like I can definitely use this on the way there. Don't think I need these shotgun shells. All right, hallway running time again. Herb. Am I winning? Uh, it's going a little smooth. The starting was really, really hard. But the further we get through the game, the easier it's going to get. But this part is tough. Hey, it's Barry, and he looks troubled. <laughs> Jill. Barry, I didn't mean to get you that excited. Right. Anyway, you should read this. This cutscene's actually in the 96 version. If you can get here fast enough. What do you make of it? Well, I guess we were right about this mansion being quite unnatural. You have a way with understatements. Where's the part that's torn off? Well, my only guess is that it was the most important part and somebody didn't want anyone to see it. Let's continue our investigation. Good idea. This is a really strange room, and this puzzle is very weird too. It's not really a puzzle, but... In... 
in the original, it was just a switch you hit. This one is like kind of it's a little combination you gotta do here. Oops. This is kind of cool. Though. Damn, careful with that shotgun, Joe. Jesus. Fair enough. Put me even lower health. Let's see. homage that's another cool camera angle this is where you normally would get the lighter these more saves maybe I can get greedy guys now see now we're starting to pile up in the saves now it's gonna be a lot easier now now we have five saves. And we're jacked on heels. Just jacked. Good, right? I remember this confused me. The footprints heading straight through the bed. I like interpret it as like there's like an underground passage underneath the bed because the footprints lead through it. But I guess what they meant was like somebody walked across the bed. Like something like unnatural. spot now. I think we should save. We didn't do much, but we have a lot of items now. The last place we saved was in the dining room, and all I did was go to the... I got bit once, got the musical sheet, then I went to the kitchen, got nothing, then I dodged the zombo, and then we ended up here. Grab the items from the save room. Like I said, we barely did anything, but now we have an abundance of saves. And heals. A ton of heals. Okay, now that I know I have saves, I can get a little greedy here. Do I need the shotgun for anything right now? I don't think so. Not until I get all the masks, I won't need this shotgun. This is so crazy, my inventory is so nuts. Hear any word on streaming Evo? No, I I mean I won't know Bunky until it's streamed, you know? At that point. I mean even, even if I don't stream it, like, just hop in the Discord, Bunky. We're going to be watching it together anyway, so it's all good. I mean, I would love to watch it, like, live on stream, but... Evo, remember, Evo's a really huge event, <laughs> you know? There's a lot of moolah involved, so... You gotta be extra careful. It's also a Sony event too, Bunky, so it's like... There's a lot of, like, questions. I guess I could ask around. And see.
Yeah, I, I can't believe how fun this invisible uh, zombie mode is. It's crazy fun. Okay. So what doors do we need to go through now with this key? I need to go to the big... Oh yeah, we gotta go to Yawn. Right. Yeah, there's a lot of anxiety, but it's okay. We'll get through it together, Bunky. All right, let's see how lucky I can run through this hallway. Resident Evil 1 is just so sick. I just love the flow of Resident Evil 1. form you have to fill i remember someone posted something can you give me the do you know where the the link to the form is my chris send it to me on discord i never understood what the hint for this puzzle was like i don't want to believe it's a brute force puzzle Are those card shapes? They are card shapes around. Yeah, because I see. No, never mind. They're not. Oh, yeah, it is. Diamond. Yeah, spade. Club. Heart. But it still doesn't give you any hint, right? Like, I still don't understand this puzzle. There's a switch here. Press it. Oh. But, like, I see this picture, right? And we see, like, card suits over them. But that doesn't really... I mean, I guess if you go in order of the strength of the suit, maybe? I I don't know... I actually don't know the, the... What is the suit order for cards? I know the spade is the is the best. But I don't know the other order. Can someone tell me what the order of, of card suits is in value? And then we'll see if that if that's what the hint of this puzzle is. I know spade for sure is, is the highest value. At least in poker it is. Oops. Someone look it up for me. So I I I, I don't want to. This puzzle is really weird. Like, I don't want it to be a brute force puzzle. But I can't think of any other hints uh, besides that. There's one guy with a spear and a sword. Club, diamond, heart, spade. Thanks, man. Okay. So, club is the one with the axe? You holding up an axe? Looks like it. So, we'll see if this is true. Axe. Okay, and the diamond one is, uh, he's the one holding the sword. No, see, that's not even the hint. What? It's gotta be like... Some FAQ or something that explains it. I don't know. That's right. I don't think a suit is more valuable than any other, any other in poker anyway. Uh, I thought it was. I thought it was, Cloud. That's why you always say, like, Ace of Spades. Because it's, like, notoriously the highest value single card. I mean, it could be wrong. I'm, I'm not. I'm no poker expert, but I'm fairly sure the suits do matter. Uh, it is when you start a new poker table and pick cards to, deter to determine turn. 
Oh, on who gets the big blind and small blind? Well, I wouldn't trust Google Cloud because Google is the same thing that told me Street Fighter 4 uses the Unreal 4 engine. Google that. That shit's wrong. <laughs> so I don't trust Google. This ranking is used in the game of Bridge. Bridge? What about Crib? I'm just fucking with you, Cloud. I still, though, I wish I understood what this puzzle was about. I refuse to believe it's a brute force puzzle. It's just probably executed very poorly. I mean, it's an, it's an improvement over the previous puzzle, but still. Maybe the puzzle is just left to right of the portraits. Uh, the order we did it in, I believe we went top right. I think we went this way, this way, and then sword third? I don't know. Someone check the archives. Did we go shield guy first and then axe? Bro, if, that, if that's the- no, no. If that's the case, that'd be so fucking stupid. <laughs> That'd be so fucking dumb, guys. Oops. Ah. Cancel, please. Uh. Sunshine will always awaken me. All oh, right, we have to hit all those stupid. This one's kind of silly too. Uh... Nothing's happening. It appears you have failed. Yeah, no shit. I didn't know what I was doing at the beginning. Uh, I mean, yeah, I want the answer. Of course, we already beat this game. It's not like it's spoilers or anything. You know? No, for fuck's sakes, I keep pressing it twice. Okay, thanks, Micah. Appreciate it. What? No, not this puzzle, Bunky. I, ob I obviously understand this puzzle. I'm talking about the fucking statues. No, this shit's baby. I'm talking about this one. Funky, it literally says the sun, and it shows two pieces of the heart in the sun. I was just talking and clicking the buttons while I was trying to think about what the statue is about. Come on, Bunky. Work with me here. Man, we're getting really lucky in that hallway. Like, super lucky. <gasps> Richard. Dude, Richard's so badass what in this happened? game. You're wounded. This whole place is a killing zone. <laughs> yes, it is. Monsters. What did this to you? A big snake. A big it fucking snake. Poisonous. Poisonous? Richard, hold on. Bring me serum. I saw some, but didn't bring any. It's in the wackest spot, I'll go too. Go and get it, okay? You're gonna make it. Thanks. I can't believe I did not kill those zombies by that stairway. I have to go through there so many fucking times. Why did I not kill them? I'm so salty I didn't kill them. But at least I get a full heal because that's where the doggos are. But still, why did I not kill those two zombies? And this is like sunk cost fallacy because now I don't want to kill them because I've already 
gotten bitten by them so many times. The voice act in the original is S tier. Oh man, it's so godlike. It's so good. What? Oh yeah, there is a crimson here. Well, fuck. I forgot I killed the zombie by the statue. I didn't light his ass up. But it's okay, we got a full heal here anyways. But still. Okay, note to self, there's a crimson there in the, above the dining room. Are we one shot? Close to one shot. I think this is the last time I can use it. Yeah, there's only enough. There's only Uno Moss. Can't treat your wounds anymore. Alright, you guys ready to get bit twice again? Fucking sick. Oh, I fucking hate this zombie so much. Fuck that one pisses me off. Okay, there's no way I could have dodged this piece of shit. What? He put me in danger? I was full health. What the fuck? I killed those two fucking zombies, man. I wouldn't have to deal with this shit. I'm just thinking, how many times do I have to come here? I think I have to come here one more time. I think it was only first aid sprays uh, specifically perfect, not not even the herbs count. But I don't know. I found out I don't know anything about poker, so maybe I don't know anything about this either. Okay, uh, I have to help Richard fight Yon, don't I? So I have to grab my shotgun. Remember last time I left Richard to die and you guys fucking yelled at me? And that was my first playthrough, and I didn't know what the fuck you guys were talking about. She's the pistol, not the shotgun, though. I'll never forget what you did. That's fucked up, dude. your ass, I'll take this serum. I have to grab another heal. I'm gonna get bit by these two pieces of shit zombies every fucking time. Sorry, this area pisses me off. This area pisses me the fuck off, dude. I've gone bitten by that zombie so many times, guys. It just drives me crazy. Crimson's on my ass. I can see his breath. Oh, this is invisible mode? Oh, hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah.
Fuck. Ugh. Almost screwed up there. Forgot there's a shelf in the way. Alright, Richard, Richard, I'm here, bro. I'm gonna give you a shot. Hang in there. Jill. Here's my radio. You think Ono right now is playing RE? No, dude. I'm... <laughs> He's playing Dark Soccer's right now. Does it ever not hurt? <laughs> you don't look so good, bro. I'm okay. The others. Richard is resting peacefully. You should probably leave him alone for now. The game's like... Hint, hint. Do I need to grab this extra herb? Got a lot of slots left. Oh, really, Bunky? So no one knows, hey? That's fucking hilarious. Did somebody bring up the strength of the card suit? I gotta know if I'm not the only one. Fuck. Uh, do I need the lighter? I think there's a zombie in the hallway. I guess I can blast him, but I need the bullets to deal with Yawn. Shit, I fucked up. I didn't bring the lighter with me. I'm pretty sure I need the lighter. Well, there's another green herb here. First, I need to determine if there's a zombie in this hallway. Yeah, there's a zombie in there. Well, I screwed up big time. Uh, we have to run through this hallway twice. That was a huge fuck up. It's like that basically cost me a full heal. I could have saved myself a full heal because I, when I went to the staircase where I was complaining about that one zombie always biting me, I could have grabbed the lighter from there instead of going through this hallway. And I gotta go through it one more time. Maybe I'll get lucky. We'll see. That's why routing is so, so important on this mode. Nice. Lucky. Yeah, uh, if you don't mind, perfect, don't spoil the item locations for me because I want to do this as blind as I can, even though I have played this game before. I want to make this as difficult as possible. 
So just don't tell me the item locations and stuff. I want to try to just do this on my own. Why is he biting me so many times? What the fuck? What? Did I not mash or something? Did I not mash or something? That almost put me in danger in one bite. Deal with that zombo in here too. Shit, I tried doing the quick turn. Damn it, dude. I almost want to restart now. I felt like we made too many mistakes. Okay, I gotta use this herb here. Wait, what? Did the other herb disappear? Did I grab both? Oh fuck. Uh oh. That's not good. <laughs> oh shit. I can't open this door, right? Because I need to play the piano. Oh boy. I used up the infinite herbs too. I don't think I can make it back without dying. Because I have to deal with that zombo in that hallway. Unless I get insanely lucky. Yeah, I'm, I'm one shot too. Unless I mash out of my mind. So I can't open this one either. Uh, I can risk going for that defensive item, maybe, and that could save me. I'll either use it or don't. Maybe that's what I can do. Where else have I left herbs? I left it in the vine room. If I can shoot me the zombie, that would be sick. Uh. Yeah, I need footsies here. Ah. Try it, guys. There is no sound, nothing. Damn. Okay, well that goes my backup plan. Yeah, you told me that before, Bunky, which was weird. It's weird, it's so hidden in this game.
I, honestly, no matter how I cut it, I don't think there's any. I think I like off lock myself. I think no matter what, I have to load my save because I just don't know how I'm gonna get back to even the save room from this point without dying. It's like I can't even take a bite. Yeah, I'm most likely gonna die right here. I took it. But still, I'm gonna die on the way out. Unless there's miraculously a heal in this room. See, if I got that defensive item, then I could have survived. Can you imagine if this was DMCA'd? This part would suck for every like Resident Evil streamer. On like every version of RE1. Oh, why? By the shotgun? Mm. I have no choice but to knock him down. I gotta hope that I don't kill him and just knock him down. Nice. There was a second zombie in the hall. I heard it. Yeah, it's kind of strange that Jill's can get crits with a pistol. I forgot she can in Remake. You know, this is awesome, but at the same time, we're still screwed. I still can't. Get to the save without dying. This is like all for naught. There's a herb that I didn't pick up. I think it's a herb. No, it could be pistol ammo. That's on the outside where the ma uh, where you put the masks in. Yeah, I don't know how I can get to the saber without dying. I already unleashed all the zombies on the ground floor, so I can't go that way either. Fuck! Is there even a point of solving this puzzle if I'm just gonna die? No, Bunky, we grabbed all the herbs from there. We used the infinite herbs. No, there's no way. Like, I'm dead. I just have to get lucky running through that back hall. It'd be crazy if I had a save on me. There's nowhere else for the heal where I didn't pick up. Like I said, this would be salvage the fight. Yeah, the zombies are free on both on both spots. 
Now that I think about it, I should have opened. I should have did that picture puzzle. That would have gave me a shortcut to the save room. Yeah, I gotta get through this hallway without getting bit. Oh, this is we're ripped. You pushed it too far without saving. The the big critical thing was missing that lighter. That's what killed me. Was missing the lighter. It was on the left, not the right. But then I still would have had to dodge one more. Or at least we didn't do the puzzle and waste our time. We knew we were dead. I think once I complete this part and I save, that will be like the hardest section of the game will be done. That mistake I, I made though was so huge though. Like it was such a bad mistake. It cost me so many heals and time. I, I got put into danger twice in a row, basically. It was like so, so bad. Okay. I gotta remember now. Um, we have to... All right, we gotta do the statue puzzle again. And then we... Good thing I saved, by the way, too, because I, I didn't do much, and then I saved right away. Then we gotta go grab the serum. Then we gotta do the piano puzzle. So we pretty much just have to make sure we have heals on us. I'm trying to think here when I have to fight Yawn. I think that's when I got to grab all the masks. Actually, let me check this other side here. I can load this. So I need to get some information on this, on the gallery room. So if I can open up that back door, that would help me so much get into the save room without dying. This very fixes this door and open once we get back from the garden house. Such a creepy ass noise. Oh, yeah, they changed this puzzle. Okay, green head, purple necklace, orange bracelet. Oh yeah, we have to switch it for one. I forgot about this. That's only one color or the other. I guess so. Or maybe, okay. What was that other one? Huh. I already had hit a brace bracelet one that was orange, I think. Check. Well, I think it's still good if it's both orange. Yeah, Barry's a door expert. Fix that fucking door. I'll take the mask of death. Okay, good. Now we have our shortcut. So that's our backup plan if we get screwed over. I should have opened that a while ago. 
I mean, there's one Zombo here, but it's one. I might be able to dodge him, too. What? He was against the corner wall? Piece of shit. Why would he already be against the wall like that? Fuck's sakes. One zombie, no problem. Yeah, that was bullshit, but... It's okay, even if we screw up, I'll just remember to hug the right side. Okay, one... How many masks we have? Two now. Okay, let's try to remember the items we need. Try to get some heals. You know what? I don't need to go through this hallway. But then I might get bit by the other zombie on the other side. What's less risky? No, we have to go through here. Because I have to do the puzzle, All right? Yes, good dodge. That zombie is easier to dodge because that hall side is, is wide. But on the way back, it's much harder. Oh, it's your guys' favorite puzzle. Whoops. can't get over this puzzle <laughs> it's like they accidentally didn't finish it or something i don't know Richard! Richard. Oh yeah, the 
Crimson's there. And then those, my two favorite zombos on those fucking steps. That I never dodge, ever. Do I still have a heal here? Fucking don't remember. I think I still have it. Yeah, I do. Okay, good. If I can get here, I can use it on my way out. So I remember this is where I screwed up. Yes! Finally! Fucking finally! Oh my god, it's the first time I dodged him. Alright, Big B. Have a good night, man. Dude, this is such a good run, I should probably save. Well, it doesn't really matter, because I got the full heal anyways, but... I need to make absolute certainty I have everything I need. So we have three masks. Uh, let's think. Don't remember where the fourth mask is. Oh wait, yeah I do. That's from the music puzzle. Okay, so let me think of my route my routing here. We have Richard back the serum. Then I light up the candle, I grab the music notes, and then we gotta go back to the piano puzzle, get the fourth mask, and then we need all four masks at that point. I definitely want to save before we fight the mini boss. And then I think we deal with Yawn right after. I need to save at some point in between here, because I don't remember exactly the order, but I do know I need all four masks soon. I think we should, yeah, keep it open so I can grab those two herbs as well. So we should save one more time on our way back. That's the play. Uh, I have to kill that zombie in the hall too. Otherwise we're going to get bit twice, so I need to grab the handgun. Don't take too much time thinking. I'll think all I want, Bunky. Gonna rush you, make mistakes. Richard's ticking. Who cares about Richard? He's gonna die anyways. Right now I need to think. Make sure I don't make any mistakes. So we get rid of the serum. Use the lighter. Richard, no! <laughs> Alright, let's head back. Try to time it. I think if I need to go by here again, do I need to grab the full heal? Get topped off. And run for our lives again. Let's 
I don't know if I should have got the full heal or not, but I was running out of time. Because I know I'm grabbing these green herbs here too. Is fine. I'm gonna give you a shot. Hang in there. Jill, here's my radio. Take it. I'm. <sighs> Ouch. Does it ever? Okay. So. Save those green herbs there. Gonna try to take out this zombo. Shake's not dead. Okay, let me take my routing now. Do I need to grab this pistol ammo? Invisible zombie. Yeah, man, it's been crazy, dude. I, I wish we played this earlier. I didn't realize how fun it would be. It's fucking awesome. Something else I can see with this counter, right? I bet you'll play Remake many times? Yeah, probably. I mean, I've played Resident Evil 1 a billion times. Remake we can keep revisiting every now and then, for sure. I keep coming back to it every now and then. It's super godlike. I went too early, I think. Nice. Yeah, we're doing a million times better than our before. Okay. Now we just need to save. We don't need to save just yet. We can do the piano puzzle. Okay, if I grab these two herbs, oh wait, we can combine the nodes. Okay. We need to grab these two herbs. Grab the shield. Two herbs. We use the nodes, we use the shield. Get the last mask. And then we save. Definitely gotta use one of these on the way, so. Doing so much better than last time. Gate open, everything's going perfectly. I 
guess I'll try shooting the zombie in the hallway and see if I get lucky with the headshot. I don't think it's like if I don't get a headshot, it'll be devastating though because having a crimson in that hallway is really fucking bad. But at least crimsons you can see. But even if you can see see them, it doesn't really matter. Fuck. Come on, get lucky. What's so cool is, one, they like knew they're gonna add the invisible zombie mode to this game, so there's like a lot of key enemies with like necklaces and things that hint you where they are, which means there's a lot of planning ahead. And two, uh, adding the whole crimson zombie thing is so awesome because it makes the invisible zombie thing even harder because even if you know where the zombies are, you don't want to kill them. And you have to remember where they fall. It's like, it's so fucking cool. Like the combination of everything. I think it'd be even cooler if it was like they took us to the next level and maybe like randomized it a little bit on the zombies or do it or make it like one hit kill. That'd be fucking so cool. It'd be crazy. You'd have to do so much planning. The mirror idea is also very clever. At least they let you see what's in every box while in a save room. Oh, yeah. No, I, I, the real survivor just doesn't sound like something that would be fun. But, you know, if we run out of things to do in this game, we might as well try it, you know? Maybe it'll be something that I'm like, oh, this is fun. But it doesn't... It just sounds like something that's just... Will be annoying, you know? Like, it won't actually make the game harder. Especially after playing this. After I play Invisible Zombies, everything will seem, like, easy. Because <laughs> once I see them, I know how to, like, get past them. Like I said, this game is very fair when it comes to, uh... When it comes to dodging zombies. Wait, how do I just turn this thing... Oh, wait, I'm thinking this a different way. I'm thinking of it like a clock. Oops. Yeah, whoops. I was thinking of this in a totally different way. I was thinking of the... The hands being like hands. Oops. Okay. Uh... Yeah, this is a lot more straightforward. Kind of weird the directions for this though. Oops, I, I moved the wrong hand. What am I doing? I know where I'm supposed to move, but I just don't understand this stupid gear shit. Okay, left one more time.
Dude, that clock puzzle in uh, Silent Hill 2, man. So many good puzzles in that game, man. So many. Okay, now we can get to uh, Yawn. Okay, at this point I should definitely save. I remember Richard helps us out, but I don't believe I have enough ammo to kill Yon, and I don't want to take the chance because this run is so good. Zombies, I gotta run past. Oh! Of course, he's on the fucking right. Okay, that's one asshole. Last time this asshole was on the left side, so I'm gonna go right. And we'll see if he changes it up. Oh, it looks like I can't even run around him. I have to bait him and then run. So he was in the spot where I knew he was, but that little footstool blocked it. Well, there goes my two green herbs. I wonder if going up the upstairs was better. <laughs> now in hindsight. Okay. So let's grab some ammo. Put away the lighter now. Uh, what the hell do I need this key for? What door didn't I, didn't I open? Oh, did I forget to open the, the room upstairs? With Barry? I think I did. Because we died. Oh no, we did open it. Oh, forest. No, I fucking forgot to go through the door. You're right. Shit. Fuck. And we need to get the grenade launcher. Saving. We grab the last mask. My health right now. Well, I guess we'll. So I can go to the forest right away. I still need to go back to the save room and grab these four masks and put away the grenade launcher. I guess I can grab- I can go to the forest after I deliver the four masks. So maybe we can save and then have the four masks on me. No, we get the grenade launcher from- No, we get- we get the shotgun from Richard. I don't really need it though.
Okay, well, we got either way. We gotta save first, which is good. I don't think forgetting what the force thing really screwed me over that much. Just one more additional trip. This is a really good save, though. Like, this run was good. Okay. So let's have these masks on me. And if we could use the shotgun we get. Uh... Oh, no, I won't have room for it either. Will I? No, I will. I'll get rid of the, the shield key when I get to the door. Then hope then I can use the shotgun to kill the crimson with the masks. I'm gonna do it all without heals, so let's see what happens. Definitely wanna go through the top part. The top part I have a pretty good luck not getting bit by a zombie. Let's see if my luck runs out. So that save felt so good. Ah. Oh, you know what? I should have went to... I played that wrong. I should have went to uh, the puzzle room and then exited and then run to the door. That's how I would have got there without getting hit. See how this plays out. If I can get here before the crimson spawns. We didn't see the spawn yet. This room is so crazy. Okay, let's see if we can finally find if Yon is invisible. Payback time. Payback time. Oh, he is invisible. Wait, why is he after me? You piece of shit. Why was he on me? I guess I just kite him. Maybe I don't need the pistol. Payback time. Dude, I'm, his tail's wrapped around me. Forgot how, how crazy Richard was here. No, Richard. Richard. There's nothing else in this room, right? Fucking tail. Okay, we're probably gonna restart anyways. It was still so funny on my first playthrough of when I ditched Richard. It was so good. And the chat's like, what are you doing? And I'm like, what do you mean? What am I doing? Fucking snake. It was so funny. I don't even know if I even need the pistol. Okay, let's do this properly this time. Man, this mode is so fun. 
No! What? He changed position. What? I feel cheated. Alright, see if I can do this without getting bit by the snake. Cutscene? Oh, now it will. Shit, wrong way. <gasps> Lucky. Richard, shoot! Richard, keep shooting! Thanks. <laughs> I love the perspective too. turn and bounce. Yeah. That was fucking crazy. Crimson didn't spawn. Nice. That area is cleared now. Ten shells in this? Nice. A zombie spawned here? What? Did he chase me from the other room? Uh-oh. The run might be dead now. Oh no. I didn't anticipate this. <laughs> I didn't anticipate this. The routing in this in the remake is so good too. You like you, it makes you explore the whole mansion. I love it. I don't hear any zombies. Did they despawn? See the shotgun shells. I think they did despawn. Maybe they did enter another room, I don't know. Weird. Oh, what am I doing? I think I'm one shot too. This part's so cool too. How they added this part. Like just the suspense of what it could be inside that coffin.
Please be facing the right direction. Oh, I killed him. There's three shots. There's a green herb where forest is. I would save this run. Just naturally go back to the save right now. I need that grenade launcher. I could just shoot the zombie in that room too. It'd be worth it. Oh yeah, it's way different in this game. I don't think Barry is gonna be here, we'll see. Because we came here hella late. Is there a herb in here? Oh, it's a dagger. That saves it. Uh, Bunky, do you remember what's at the end of this, uh, catwalk? Is it a herb, or is it ammo? Because I know forest triggers when I go through this catwalk. But if it's a herb, worth it. If it's not, then... Oh, wait, there's nothing there. I remember going there. Maybe there's a note? There was a reason to go there. I just don't remember. Well, as long as I don't get bit in the back now. But this is hard mode. Alright, oh, so it despawned the heal. Okay. That makes sense then. Yeah, that makes a lot more sense. Okay, so now we just need to get back without getting bit in the back or bit twice in a row. And we pretty much covered all the areas. Which key did it want me to have again for the, the old closet room? It was, uh, the helmet key? It's weird they changed that to a helmet door. But I'm fairly sure we covered the whole mansion on the keys that we can. Helmet... Oh, why, why is it still red in the map room? Oh, it's because I didn't open up with the closet key, that's probably why. And then to my left, I still need to use the jewel there. I still have those two herbs sitting in that vine room. We can probably go there later. Yeah, it's pretty good. Alright, see if I can make it back in one piece. I'm almost tempted to go through the red hallway. I think I might have a better chance, but... 
Let's try this one more time. Can you believe it? Oh my god. Did you see that RNG? I shocked because I knew there might be a chance there'd be two zombies. I hit one of them. But it wasn't the one that grabbed me. And then the one that I knocked down grabbed me in the back and comboed me. That is the fucking worst RNG I've ever seen. That was... Bullshit. Okay, let's try it one more time. That was such horse shit. Alright, don't worry, we got this down to a science. I wonder if I got lucky with that crimson though. So I only got sliced, I didn't get grabbed. So I'm curious why I got lucky, but it's okay. Let's be safe that we have so many options. What else did I need to bring? I forgot. No, that was it. Okay. Let's see if I get lucky on the zombie. Like, if I could dodge this one, then we're, like, in really, really good shape. But I haven't been getting lucky on it anymore. I'm gonna hug the right side wall. Try to go to the puzzle room. See, it's random where he is, man. That pisses me off. Fuck. Okay. Better. But then we have to see if I get hit bit by Yawn. So I got pretty lucky it seems. Then the crimson. I wonder how lucky that last run was. I guess we're gonna find out now. So scary. Gonna grab this mask ASAP before his tail starts wrapping around everywhere.
Is it always put me in the same position after we Thanks. Richard gets killed? Well, let me skip this, by the way. Richard! Yeah, it does put me in the same position. Shit, that was scary. That it wasn't in the 180 turn position that time. Yeah, there's a zombie in this room. Wait, is this equipped or not? Or maybe he might not spawn, but I have to make sure. Yeah, there is. Scary, very tense. There we go, rip the ritual too. Uh, you know, I'm not even hurt. I'm thinking now, should I grab the defense some item now? Would that change anything? No, because I want to grab the shotgun shells. Not sure where the zombies despawn here. Forgot what happened with Chris to be honest, Monkey. I already forgot. Right! Now I remember. Yeah, 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 with Neptune. <laughs> Poor Richard. Damn, he took so much more shots that time. But we didn't get scratched at all. This is the god run. Not a single scratch on us. It's an amazing thing when you do the same part over and over again and memorize it. It's almost like you improve or something. 
Actually, can I examine it? It doesn't say, what is this? Watch, Bunky. I'll use my defensive item and then get bit three times in a row in the back and then die. Eno. Could be wrong, but I think we're over the hill now in the hardest section. I'm thinking what would be harder than what we've done so far, but we'll see. I just feel like. Hunters are easier to run by in this game, and zombies are just more annoying. And we'll have so many heals, and I don't have to worry about killing hunters if I absolutely have to. Because, you know, they don't turn the crimsons, and we've done- we've only- There's no zombies that are, like, crimson in the area where I need to run to. Except for, like, one or two. But they're pretty- they're not bad, so... I think for the most part, we're good. Well, at least you can see Crimson's, like I said, Sword. Like, we'll have so much... Because we haven't used any weapons at this point, right? Barely any. So we can just simply kill the Crimson's. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like this was, like, the hardest... I mean, even when you play this game naturally, the hardest part is the beginning. Because you just have such little resources. When, especially when you play Chris. But we'll see if I'm wrong. You love up like an RPG. Okay, why am I running around the long sound here? I have no idea. Man, I'm just thinking about just going through this red hallway instead. That hallway with those two zombies is so fucking stupid. You know, the more I look at this costume, the more I'm getting, like, kind of Sarah Connor vibes on it, too. Just because of the hat. Alright, I don't want to do this stupid shit this time. I don't want to kill the zombies. I don't even think doing the shotgun shot's going to do anything. I should just fucking run forward and waste a defensive item. Honestly, that's the safest thing. I think that's how we're going to play it. Um, Bunky, you there? Uh, the room where I have to go, like, to outside to... So I gotta use this item, and it brings me outside. In that garden house, is there a save box and a save? Like, I don't really need to go back to the save room yet, do I? Isn't there a save, like, right there with a box in this version? I know there's a save box and a save at Lisa's house. But I don't remember if there is in that garden thing. I'm just deciding if I should go there. We still need the crest too. So I think no matter what we have to save here. Okay, I'm just gonna waste the defensive item. That other zombie almost bit me. I heard him try to grab me. That's bullshit.
Still, we did it without getting hit, which is nice. Or, without taking damage. You know. Uh, do I need to kill those crows? Well, I don't know. I'm kind of going into uncharted territory now. Do I have any shotgun shells left? I should waste the old shotgun though. Do it like this. I need the crest for sure. Oh, there is shotgun shells right here. Let me set them beside the other shotgun so I remember. It's okay, uh, Bunky, we're gonna stop it here anyways. I was just thinking if I can get greedy and go a little further, but... This is a really good spot to stop anyways. We're starting to really stock up in the saves. Like I said, I think we just got over the hill in the hardest part. So we should be good now. We're gonna have so much ammo. We're gonna go nuts on killing enemies after the Crimson phase starts. This looks good though. This has been a blast so far though, man. It's crazy how nasty hard it is at the beginning. This is awesome. I can't wait to play more of this. We'll, we'll play it with Chris someday just to play it again and experience it because it's so nuts. What? It just said one message? Weird. Alright, back to the grind. Oh wait, this is the map button. Yeah, I feel like it's smooth sailing from here, but I could be wrong. So we got a bunch of saves now, right? Don't, don't I have more than two? I don't? Poop. Yeah, my, my uh, mom came over yesterday and she made like a mountain of spring rolls. So I just devoured so many spring rolls and then that was it guys that was the ritual before i began keto i started keto today and it has begun we'll see how long i last i'll keep you guys posted <laughs> so i what my the only thing i ate today was i ate scrambled eggs with like uh shredded cheese and butter but i'm not even that hungry right now for some reason I, after the stream i'll definitely make some some food a bunch of sausages or something I just hope I don't get like get drained on the weekend because the weekend that's when all the crazy news is gonna happen. All right, we have the grenade launcher now. I don't need it just yet. We can still run by a bunch of zombos. I don't think we're gonna use the canteen anymore. Um, I want to check out this closet key later when we come back to the mansion. I think so only two saves. Uh, we need that crest. Uh, I know we have to fight some crows, but maybe we can get away without doing that. And we gotta fight a bunch of doggos. I want an excuse to use the shotgun though, because it's got six shells in it that I need to waste. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I just heard my brother just go crazy. Willie's on the grind because he also received the future and uh, he realizes that it doesn't instantly uh, make you win. False advertising. Okay, let's try this setup first, and we'll see how it goes. Since we say we can do some experimentation and some memorization. Alright, we're gonna run across two zombies right now. Uh, maybe I should... I'm gonna use these two items too. Okay, let me, let me grab the shotgun, because I might be able to use it here. No, because I don't want to make crimsons. Uh, is it just an all meat diet? No, it's it's just uh, low carbs, low sugar, which is like the same thing. 
That's all it is. So you can... It's pretty restrictive, but there's a lot of things you can eat. You're basically just not eating carbs. So, like, no rice, no pasta, no buns, no uh, potatoes, you know, things like that. You can still eat, like, you know, any type of meat, obviously. You can eat eggs, uh, cheese. He was asking me, Vesper. Okay, so it doesn't matter. This door gets fixed anyways once we get on our way back. Okay, I dodged one, but I didn't dodge the other. Okay, finally. Okay. I'm having so much fun playing this, guys, that we're de I'm gonna find. It, I'm, I'm thinking of playing the real survivor now. Not right away, but we'll bounce back to this. Oh, why did I run? There's a dog going here. Uh, I was gonna say we're gonna we're gonna bounce back to this after we play like two more or something. It's, it's so fun to play. Okay, what do we got in here? We got some heals, ammo. Yeah, we got some slots open. Mm, I don't think I do either uh carnivore or, or kia. I just slip up because I love potatoes too much. Well, one trick you can do, Mac. <laughs> is well, what I do to substitute potatoes is I take cauliflower and you mash it up with butter and you put in a lot of salt and you can like trick your brain to thinking it's potatoes. It's really good. It's like a mashed potato substitute. It's delicious, but it's not for everyone. <laughs> you can also like make fake rice and fake uh, noodles with the same kind of idea. Like, uh, when I was making burgers, when I really I was, like, craving buns, I'd use almond flour instead. There's, there's, uh, keto is, like, really restrictive if you don't know much about it. You have to really do your research on it, because there's a lot of workarounds for a lot of things. But, I mean, it's not for everyone. Everyone's kind of got their own thing that works for them. Yeah, cauliflower, rice... Uh, I can still eat pizza, right? You can eat you can eat pizza with cauliflower crust. There's keto's becoming more like acceptable, <laughs> and more and more places are like catering to it. It's not so bad anymore. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just no carbs, no carbs, no sugar. Wait, I don't want to go. I don't think I want to go through here yet. Yeah, we want to go to Lisa's house first. Yeah, I'm not really a noodle guy. I really like rice though, and I do like baked potatoes. Let's go down this way first, because then we can access an item box at least this place. I don't think there's any doggos on this side. Man, this game is so pretty. Okay, well, we gotta read the signs so we know the directions. Destruction of hatred, madness, and revenge. Thank you. Hmm. Yeah, I told you guys, like, I used to live by this, uh, mom and pop shop, like, pizza place. It was so good. Crazy deep dish pizza. Barry? Wait, that's not Barry. We're talking savagely deep dish. It was so deep dish, it wasn't even pizza. It was a pie. 
Okay, it was so deep dish, guys. I'm talking like a stack like this. It's nuts. And uh, so what I used to do when I was on keto is I used to order from all the time, but I never, I didn't need to eat the crust. That's why I liked it. I could just, it was like eating a pizza, but without eating the crust, and it was like so filling. The gate will open when the guard dog's desires are fulfilled. Okay. Okay, destruction. to face east. It's like changing its speed. There we go. Uh, how tall am I? I'm five foot seven. I'm like Tom Cruise height. Oops, I didn't even mean to hit south. So this one should be west then, right? Never mind. It's north. No. Six one. Okay. Last time I actually like went, <laughs> I did the effort of understanding the puzzle, and now I'm like brute force. Oh, don't tell me you didn't want it to face the gate. Tom Cruise energy? What is that supposed to mean? This is destruction. Revenge. Okay, let's figure out which direction revenge is facing. I thought it was both facing the gate. That's why I tried brute force in it. So revenge is west. And uh, north for destruction. And where did I put it to? No. No! Just this in itself is hard. Okay, guys, we solved it. They're both facing away from each other. The opposite of what I thought. Hey, what's up, Subby? Uh, no, Canada uses centimeters. We use metric. Okay. Oh yeah, the crows are invisible. Uh, 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 uh. Start to run around like idiots. Thank you. Ah! Thank you. Uh, okay. Uh, 
uh, 2 plus equals. So this was the 2, right? Yes. Okay. <coughs> Use. I don't understand about this puzzle, too. It's not even really a puzzle. I guess maybe because you just did a puzzle with the with the doggos at the gate, right? Nice. Right on. This will come in handy. Go go go! Don't get bit by crows. Hopefully Lisa's is not invisible too, but she probably is. <gasps> I hear Zombo. He should be pretty easy to dodge though. Should be just one Zombo. This is so cool, this added section to the game. I love it. Yeah, guys, so for tomorrow, I mean, in case you guys are living under a rock, evil starts tomorrow. And uh, I ultimately decided that I won't be streaming evil. <laughs> but I will be I will be streaming tomorrow. Uh, we'll be streaming the, the Sony show part of it. And uh, we'll be there. We'll be around for the Street Fighter 6 announcements. I don't know what's going on. It's kind of confusing because uh, Evo says that they have a specific stream for their stage and they're going to have developer interviews and announcements on day one. So a lot of the announcements are all happening tomorrow. They're going to they're not going to do it on top eight. And then uh, on top of that, uh, Sony is also having their own stream called like Evil Lounge. And they're also showing off announcements and stuff. So I'm going to assume that both streams are going to be similar. And Sony stream is going to have some of their own content. And the stage will have some of their own content. But I'm sure in the big announcements happening, they'll both be streaming the same thing. So we'll be covering the Sony one instead on Friday, tomorrow. Uh, and the Street Fighter 6 preview is going to be at 5.30 PST. So I'll make sure I'm live a little bit earlier than that. And then, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if I wake up tomorrow and Capcom will already release the character trailers just randomly on YouTube before they even announce that evil. But I'm not sure because the the time slot for Street Fighter 6 is only a half an hour long. And they already showed said that Vicious and Aru are going to be on stage. So they're obviously going to commentate two players playing obviously and for it's only a half an hour long so we'll see but it's pretty exciting because we may see uh finally an updated build of street fighter 6 and see what the game looks like now and obviously we'll be getting some character announcements so i'll see you guys around for that tomorrow but for evil I mean, I'm obviously going to be watching Evil, but I don't know how much of Evil I'm going to be watching. I'm going to be chilling with the guys in the Discord, right? And we're going to be bouncing between a ton of games, just watching whatever is hype at the moment, because we'll be watching everything. So just streaming Evil, I don't know, because then I kind of want to jump through a bunch of games. Uh, I'm also kind of restricted on how I talk, too. So that might be kind of boring on, you know what I mean, things that I want to say. And I can't. And then on top of that, uh, depending on how the brackets go, because not everyone is there. 
uh, it just depends on how much I actually want to watch. So tomorrow is the most important day for me. But like I said, if you guys want to watch with us in the Discord, there'll be a bunch of us having a watch party in the Discord too. And, uh, you know, I'll be, might be popping up every now and then on the stream just to catch up with you guys on the weekend. Because I got to do like breakdown videos and stuff too. So we'll see. But either way, uh, you know, I hope you guys enjoy watching Evo. And if you guys are intending, I hope you guys enjoy it. It's a banger. It's a banger. Yo, Cone, thanks it's for the two years, banger. man. Finally, two years. Thank you. Appreciate the long support. Yeah, I'm excited to see Street Fighter 6 as well, and hopefully there'll be some other cool updates that will surprise us. Okay, don't need the Magnum. Put away these shotgun shells. Still trying to figure out an excuse to... Uh... Use this shotgun. I guess I'll just keep it in my inventory. Keep this heal here. Let's grab the shotgun back. I don't want to reload it. Still don't want to save. We haven't really gone far at all. And I am in caution, right? I am in caution. We are going to, about to find a bunch of herbs. And I might get hit on the way out of here. So, I guess I can use this green herb. It won't be the end of the world. I got one defensive item, too. Le Crank. Can't see shit. She's invisible. Overhead. It's kind of weird, Lisa. We just wake up and she's kind of standing there and then she attacks us. That's kind of odd. Maybe she got scared. Ouch. Whoa! That put us in caution? Okay, well, if we die, using that green herb was useless. Might as well have been put in danger. Okay, if I get bit by the zombie, it's over. Where's the path? Wait, is it over here? Oh my god, the zombie's right here. Where am I going? Did I take the wrong way? Yep, I did. Don't bite me. Don't bite me! Oh! He just reached out for me. Oh my god, that was scary. So I'm probably still gonna die by the doggos. There's another zombie here? Oh yeah, they spawn afterwards. Uh-oh. So yeah, guys. The future has arrived. I can't wait to test out my new controller. Claw actually delivered it to me because we had to deliver it to his house because I don't have a mailbox yet for some reason. Yeah, it only took two days to ship, which was nice. 
Yeah, uh, after evil, we'll start going on the Street Fighter V grind again. So I'm super excited to learn a new controller. Alright, see if these dogs attack me. Okay. This is Brad. If you can hear me, just give me a sign. Anything. Jill to Brad, can you hear me? Shit, it's broken. <laughs> I don't know if there's dogs walking around this area in this version. But... Oh yeah. There is. Oh, I can see his reflection in the water. Interesting. Is there any items in this spot here? No. You can see the the saliva too. That's really cool. Oh, we are one shot. I was so hyper Street Fighter Cross Tekken. I think it was the first fighting game I, I bought at launch. Yeah, Cross Tekken was insanely hype, dude. What a disaster. <laughs> the Neko was so bad. It was so unplayable. You guys wouldn't believe. It was so bad. Having, like, and especially playing co op ranked, like having four players connect on the late base Neko. <laughs> Shit. It was brutal. Yeah, they added a whole bunch of characters. Or were they already on the disc? Two shots left. Snakes, please. Bit there, I'm dead. I think this dog goes here though. Could be some herbs right by the gate, but it could be different on hard mode. <gasps> snakes, run! Invisible snakes. Weave, dodge, whatever it takes. I made it somehow. I don't remember. Okay, grab this green herb. Or blue herb. Pesticide. Okay, save room. We made it. Defensive item and a bunch of saves. Nice. 
this. So I think no matter what, I probably would be hit by Lisa. So no matter what, I have to use a first aid. So basically, we basic we just wasted a green herb. I would say. I'm surprised there's no heals all all, all the way here. It's not. So my bad. I wasted a green herb, but it's okay. We can still use a first aid spray. Uh, I don't need to crank for a bit. Uh, we probably have to kill some of those spiders. No, I can probably run for it since I'm gonna save now anyways. So how many first aid sprays do we have? One. Once we leave this garden house, we're gonna go nuts on the weapons, but I think we should save some good weapons for the boss as well. The boss is, I think, way tougher in this game than the 96 version. Okay, two first aid sprays, so that brings us down to one. Use the mixed herbs. And I think I need the lighter in this game for this section. Pretty sure. And should I use the pistol as well? There's some really close zombies in this area though. I also got the grenade launcher. We have a lot more ammo than we should because we skipped so many enemies. Well, let's try this and we'll see how it goes since we're saving. Okay, let's use our heal. And then we have everything I think we need. Oh yeah, because we're playing Jill, right. Kind of funny when I was practicing with the the future, my my ring finger. Oh my god, I need to work out my ring finger. So weird. No, I never use that finger for fighting games, right? I was like practicing dive kicks. I was practicing like DPS. I was learning some of this, the whack secret shortcuts and stuff. It's locked. Zero zero one. Oh yeah, didn't we? I put this box in the wrong spot and I kept on getting hit every time I crossed. Okay. Best for predicting the future? Why, what did I do? Pretty sure it's in the right spot. Okay, we're just gonna have to try to dodge these spiders. What's going on, Neutron? You excited for evil tomorrow? Okay, gotta heal. This puzzle's pretty cool. It's better than the pool table, that's for sure. So, this red looking eye, normal looking eye, I might add. Me going this way down here is kind of bad, but I have to see what this looks like. Okay, green with the two lines on the top. Man, it's like right beside me. What we got here? <gasps> Remember this red book? Soft lock book. I don't know where the spiders are. Nobody panic. Okay. Uh, three. And... Okay. But... 
I don't remember which one I have to pay attention to, the corresponding number is, but... Okay, so orange has three. So red is two on the side, green is two on the top, and orange is three on the top. And then I'll figure it out later. And then it's uh, three... 365 or 395, one of the two. 365 or 395? We'll see when we get there. I'll figure it out. Yeah, threes. I'll, I'll say it in that order so I can memorize it. Okay, let's see if we can get out of here without getting hit. Nice. Uh, Vesper, how does it compare to your keyboard? Is there more travel on your keys to compare to the buttons? Uh, well, that depends on the keyboard, right? The, it literally uses keyboard switches. So it's very easy to replace those switches. Because the keyboard switches are dirt cheap, right? So you can change it to your liking. If you want to replicate Sama buttons, then you can get these uh, chalk blue switches. Which have only like, it's like only 25 grams of actu actuation. And you can get, you can like print off these little things to make the actuation point even shorter if you want. To make it really like speedy fast. So that just depends on how much you want to customize it. You can also lubric lubricate, uh, sorry, I can't like talk today. You can lube down your switches to reduce the friction even further. Like, like hardcore keyboard users do. In case you guys don't know, the whole mechanical keyboard community is like really hardcore. There's like a whole thing. And uh, yeah, they loop down the switches. Which is really cheap. It doesn't cost anything. It doesn't take that much time. And Yeah, you oil that thing up. Stars are close. Zero zero one zero zero two. Oh yeah, they changed how this beehive thing works. Super cool. Oh, I shouldn't have examined it. That was stupid. Oh, they just appeared for a second too. No, that wasn't part of our <gasps> He's dropping. But it's not necessary to destroy stars. Cool camera angle too. What about my family? So the reason why I asked is because I got a stick and I hated the travel and the lever was too much to me compared to a D-pad. Maybe I should look into the future too. Jill. Barry, I heard someone. Yeah, one sec, I'll talk to you about that. Oh, you heard. I think age is starting to take its toll. Talking to myself is becoming a bad habit. Talking to yourself? Oh, you uses the same excuse in this game too, I What's forgot. Gotten into you? I'm getting you worried, aren't I? But don't, I'm all right. I guess this creepy mansion has gotten to my nerves. <laughs> anyway, I think I'll go outside, get some fresh air for a change. Yeah, he basically says the exact same thing. Don't worry. I'm just going to get some fresh air. If I'm lucky, I'll get to waste some monsters along the way. Cool. Yeah, so... Uh, if you're picking up another controller, LC, uh, just keep in mind that when it comes to stickless, uh, the snack boxes is it uses keyboard switches, right? Which is still different than a joystick. Actually, I haven't even showed you guys it, but right here, these buttons are their own buttons. And they're also mechanical keyboard switches. So if you have a hitbox, for example, Hitboxes uses actual Songwa buttons. 
it's a banger. So the feeling of pressing banger. the button, the feeling of pressing a button on this is going to be way different than on a hitbox. So you have to, you have to decide for yourself what do you want, right? Like Sangwa buttons are really good because they're 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 meant for maximum sensitivity, right? And when you're playing like fighting games, especially having the buttons as sensitive as possible is really good because you just want you just need speed, right? Speed is the only thing that matters. But if you're somebody that plays other games with this, or if you prefer a keyboard and you're used to the feel of the actuation and the clickiness and whatever, then this can be good for a lot of things, not just fighting games, right? Like more and more people are starting to realize how good it is to use keyboard, like sp the speedrunning community, for example. A lot of speedrunners, like a lot of the top speedrunners for their games, they use keyboard. Because keyboard is just so much more precise than using a controller, like a D-pad. Obviously, it depends on the game. But the games like Resident Evil, for example, you could be way more precise with tank movement on keyboard because you have the precise keys of every direction. You know what I mean? Rather than a, like a, a mushy D-pad. Or uh, even Metroid speedruns are being done on keyboard. You know what I'm saying? Anything with like really that needs like demands like really precise uh movement but uh another controller that you should definitely look up lc when you finally decide is uh what's it called oh man i forgot the name of it just now i think it's called the m press but it's another controller someone look it up for me is it called m press but it's another stickless controller and it's bigger than this it's big enough where you can rest your palms down on it and it's more of like the joystick kind of size thanks chrono and that has some and it uses actual you know song buttons it's the right size because remember these buttons like i said are custom so these buttons you might not like this controller because it has its own buttons it's really tiny but these buttons are tiny really tiny so if you're someone who, who jumps from arcade stick to this, right, you might not necessarily like it because it's a lot different. If you're someone who jumps from keyboard, it's going to be whatever. You're not really going to know. But if you really like kind of song with arcade buttons, then you might want to look more towards M-Press and Hitbox. But, uh, you know, I'm going to try out a bunch of different controllers in the future and I'll figure out what I like. But everyone's different, you know. But yeah. Like, I personally like this so far, but, you know, we'll give it a, a, a go next week. Just understand, like, what you're you're getting, you know? It's not just size you got to put into account. There's actually a really good video that breaks down the three. If you want to look up LC from uh, this YouTube channel, YouTube, uh, YouTuber named, uh, uh, what's his name? Starts with an S. Man, my memory is just so foggy. I need to get into ketosis here uh mr sejano or something like that i don't know it starts with an s if you look it up he does a really good comparison of the three controllers and their pros and cons and it's pretty sound well, at least when i watched it yeah just look it up he does like a bunch of videos on all three and one that compares all three and it's good old man arcade yeah and dk man thanks for the 15 bones dude Appreciate it, man. Sorry, Mr. Dono. I was talking to LC about controllers. Is real survivor mode happening? Well, I was talking to before, but I don't think real survivor is like... It doesn't seem that much harder. It just seems like it's more annoying than anything. But I like Resident Evil 1 so much that we're going to play it anyways. <laughs> Since we're playing this with Jill, Invisible Zombos on hard, uh, next time we play this game, I'll play real survivor with Chris. But we won't do it for a while. I'm going to play a bunch of more res games then now we're not playing Resident Evil 1 for the rest of our lives Whoop. Zero, zero, one. uh is it possible to have a smaller gate or does anyone make them uh 
No, there's different types of gates, but not necessarily smaller gates. Not that I know of. You could also try getting a Korean crown joystick as well. If you want to go back into neutral instantly. Okay. Yeah, we'll be, we'll be doing, like, if we play real server, there'll be so much backtracking, so we can try it out if you guys want. Because a bunch of you guys have asked me about it, so if you guys really want to see it, I'm down to play more RE1. Okay. Nope. It's a book with a red cover. Nothing is printed. Okay. Yeah, I could I could play with uh with uh, Willy when Resident Evil Five comes out. We'll see. I might play it multiple times. I should definitely experience the co-op because I know the co-op is really really good. That yeah, might be very very cool. Damn, I tried to move around him. Why didn't I just fight him? I have a shotgun. I should have shot him. They changed that one up. That's cool. Ooh. Have you you played RE one at least three times already? Uh, I played it, I think, 12, 14 times now. All right. Uh, let's go back to the zero zero one door, then we can go down. I didn't mean to examine that. Yeah, we're gonna play after this. We're gonna play RE0 again. I'm gonna play the Wesker mode. I just want an excuse to play through all the Res Resident Evils that we played already again. Just because I'm having so much fun, I'm gonna like savor them. I'm having too much fun playing them. Because we know it starts to go downhill, right? <laughs> so I want to enjoy all the classics. Alright, one ended it four. I mean, I like the new, new Resident Evil games. But it's been recent since we played them, you know? So I want to, like, try to waste as much time as I can so I can feel like, wow, we haven't played this in a while, you know? Uh, I don't need the lighter anymore. I don't know how I missed your Time Killer stream, but I watched it yesterday and it was hilarious. The armless- Oh man! <laughs> yeah. I think you left a comment and I, I saw the timestamp and I burst out laughing when I saw it again. That game is insane. Dude, the sequel to that game sucks ass. The original is so much better. Got one more defensive item. Oh, not yet. Oh. Very scary. Very, very scary. Thank you.
Oh. That zombie's alive too? Oh, it means he's gonna burst the door. Shit. I don't know if he's crawling or standing. Oh, he's standing. Is there anything else I need in here? Self-defense gun. I guess we're going to use that right now. Oh, he just got up. Nice. What? I thought I could make it in time. Dude, I gotta mash harder, dude. I gotta mash harder. That was bad. Alright, uh... I don't want an excuse to use this. Because we never... We, I remember we just used it for the hell of it, because it's like one Magnum shot. Alright, time to go down to... Neptune. Um, I don't think we need our pistol for anything. I ho I hope they don't announce anything until like the five thirty show for Street Fighter Six because I really want to be around there live with you guys on the stream when they announce it. I don't want it to be like. I start the stream and, you, and then we already know and it's kind of like, you know, it'll be kind of awkward. So let's hope Hatcom doesn't go crazy and release a bunch of trailers tomorrow morning. It could get leaked beforehand too. Well, at this point, I mean, it's like a day before, so it's not, it won't even be a big deal. Like, let's say it gets leaked on which characters there are, it doesn't really matter. It's the trailer that everyone wants to see, you know? Like, the entire roster for Street Fighter 6 has been leaked, so, you know, the leak of any character doesn't really matter to me. If they say, hey, Kimberly's next, it's like, okay, cool. We already knew, you know? I like the remix they did with the theme down here too, it's good. So this is this is like my only criticism of this game is that they kept this puzzle in. I don't know why. They could have just changed it a little bit. It's so dumb. This is the best puzzle. It's stupid. Okay, but then they, why change any of the puzzles then, Bunky? Right? There is some cool puzzles in the old Resident Evil 2, so why didn't they change the ones that were whack and keep not keep the ones that are shit? And in fact, they made this easier. They dumbed it down. This box is supposed to be at the end of the hall. So it's literally just a waste of time. It's like as if there was a loading screen that doesn't exist. You can still waste your time with an actual puzzle, LC. It's ridiculous. This puzzle, this puzzle sucks. I 
All right, nice. We got a green herb. Uh, if I can get away with not using this for a shade spray, that'd be sick. Oh, my controller is rumbling. Okay. I probably can't see the sharks. shot I, think, I thought it would be a lot easier to see them but it's not you can see the bubbles though I shall Oh yeah, this is a little puzzle. Right. I remember when I first did this, I didn't understand what was going on. I almost died. I was like a second away from dying. Professor, don't complain, you RE players are spoiled. <laughs> hey man, at least I'm complaining about the right things. Not the dumb things. Drain the water. Wait, I'm not supposed to see him. Emergency, emergency. Unknown source of pressure. Okay, what do I do again? <laughs> Locking all doors to achieve maximum safety. Okay, thank you. Uh Release the safety. The safety mechanism for the pressure has been released. I need to close the, the shutter thingies. Uh huh. Reaching 30% of pressure threshold. Okay. Oil pressure lost. Okay. And then there's something I'm supposed to read here, right? Open valve one. Reaching fifty percent of And it's RNG threshold. which one it is. Activate emergency drainage system immediately. Uh, one. Okay. Now I need to do something again that I don't remember. Uh, I think I talked to this. Shut up, I'm trying to think. Threshold. Okay, and then I'm gonna do this. Did I do that right? I feel like I did that wrong still. Let's grab the map here. This is not the time. So I just wait until he breaks it? Or am I supposed to drain the water? There we go. Yay, now I can grab this map. I got the map. Yeah, they redid this whole area, that's cool. Map. 
Make them rounds, nice. Okay, one of these lead lead back to the shortcut. Check which door I need to go through. Yeah, I think this leads back to the shortcut. So we don't want to go this way just yet. Did you guys see they're announcing, they're slowly announcing the roster for the NA versus EU <laughs> exhibition take, taking place? I think it's it's for tomorrow. I can't wait to see the salt. It's going to be so funny. Every time they like announce somebody else on Twitter, I just like, just laugh. Just giggle. I can't wait to see it gonna be so funny yeah I, I don't know it was weird like yeah they announced that item was in it and then his sponsor was like super confused just as confused as we were so hopefully hopefully uh, hopefully they're cool with it. it it seems like everything's good we would have heard of something bad by now and then yeah it's pretty crazy and then there's uh we got Mena, we got Kava, then Chris got Chris, Arturo, Shine, and then EU has like Mr. Crimson, Luffy's the captain, uh, Phenom. Uh, did they announce Takamura yet? And they had uh, Problem X, of course, and uh, Big Bird and Angry Bird. So super funny. I hope there's a lot of shit talking. What's that? US wash, we'll see. <laughs> we should we shouldn't talk shit yet, even though I talked a lot of shit. We will see when when the time comes. Dun, dun, dun. I think the speedruns can like skip this whole sequence and just grab the key. Ouch. If only there was a way to drop it in the water. Was I not supposed to hit the switch yet? I don't remember what I did. Can I hit the switch back up? Oh, you can. Did that hurt me? Okay, no, it didn't. There we go. I thought maybe I did it out of order and I saw blocked myself. There we go. If they had infectious, they would be invincible. <laughs> but then at the same time, you know, and they could say, hey, if we had punk, we would be invincible. Just that whole scenario was just so funny, like, yeah, NA, we got Punk, and Punk's like, I don't even want to fucking play. <laughs> Leave me alone. So funny. Yeah, the Street Fighter, all the pools, man, they're gonna take forever. That day one of evil, oh man, I think it was a really good idea to have all the announcements on tomorrow because <laughs> I don't know, it's gonna be dead tomorrow, man. It's gonna be so snooze, dude. It is pools. It's Townsperson A versus Townsperson B for like eleven hours straight. 
the the pools don't even get down to like 128 until uh, sat like mid saturday it's insane how many players there are for every game so i'm sure there'll be some blow ups but i mean you could just like it'll be posted on twitter or something so you don't have to sit through it pools can sometimes be fun if you get a wild upset yeah for sure but in my history, like, I always get myself super hyped for Evil Day 1, and I always end up falling asleep on the couch every single time. I fall for it every time. Yeah, so there's tons of blow-ups that happen in pools for sure. I remember uh, when Bonchan lost in pools on his very first match, and then he had to go through the craziest bracket grind. He had to play, like, who knows, probably, like, 15 matches <laughs> to get into semifinals. He must have been so mentally exhausted. If you go into a loser's bracket at the beginning of pools at EVIL, you have to play a billion matches. You're so screwed. Like, you're in for the gauntlet. You At all costs, you cannot lose your first match. <laughs> 